Hello Fated Master, hello Milo, hello Snail. And yes, for today you are you are first. Okay, uh, I guess you are no longer first. Hello Mace BMX and uh, hello KDMNT. How's it going? It's going pretty well. I mean, uh, nothing, nothing too special happening, but everything going normal is such good, right? Hello, drop. Almost clicked the silent memory stack. Hello, Sir Ricket. Uh, Guardian, yeah? I see a 4 lead path, but if I take the 4 lead, I cannot take gold. And the floor 6 elite is basically paused because um, if I enter the right portion and I don't take this elite, uh, I'm skipping 2 elites. So I'm taking only 2 elites and taking a slightly worse option compared to this. Hello, Knight of the Queen. And thank you very much for the sub Surikan and the 6 months as well. I appreciate it a lot. Four fifty gold. Okay, the um, problem with uh, taking gold here, though, taking taking gold here is not super free, yeah. Because first of all, first of two fifty might suggest that I want to go to the shop ASAP, and if I go to this shop here, I'm forced to do another shop before first edit. And if I take four this, I'm forced to do another shop at the end. And uh, I mean, at the end, it's not so bad because uh, let's say even if I spend all my gold here. I still have 1, 2, 3, 4 elites. Actually, on, only 3 elites. So it's 90 gold. 90 gold plus another 30 is 120. But 120, maybe this gives me gold. Maybe this gives me gold. And maybe I would also have like maybe 50 gold left over here. And I can still do something. But um, it's not amazing. And if I go, if I avoid this shop, and I go here instead. Of course, with the question mark, the chance to get a remove event to get rid of the curse is also higher, yeah? But then, uh, first of all, there's only 2 fights before the first elite. A lot of question marks, which I don't like. And I also have to carry the curse through two easy hallways. <laughs> Where is what you said for? Yeah, uh, not happening anytime soon. So this is a little bit weird. Now... I guess the okay the, the the question we should ask is that um, what's the difference between this and this? So choose a color list, yeah. If I can choose a color list and go to four leads at the shop with the shop at the end, that's excellent. Uh, so the difference between two fifty go and that, and let's assume that two fifty go, I don't want to double shop and go here. So first of all, I'm down one remove, which is uh, roughly like it's seventy five here. So in the end, I'm only getting 175 gold. I get minus 180. Um, I am losing more HP in the easy hallways because I have a curse and nothing else. I step into one more quote unquote empty node. I, I wouldn't. It's not always empty, but uh, the value of this compared to a normal hallway is just worse. So the node quality is worse. I'm getting one less fight. Uh, I lose more HP in these fights because of the curse. And I have a weaker note here. And I have one less edit. In exchange for the difference between 175 gold and the colorless card. Now, that seems weird. Then the fact that I yeah, yeah. The fact that whenever Coast Trick dies, uh, we update the comment. Otherwise, uh, it just goes up one every day. Okay, okay, Snail is doing, uh, Snail do, is doing some more work. That's good. Hello, Sispy? Would be pretty funny, though. Would be pretty funny if, uh, Coach gets, like, a better record than his Ironclad, um, no, not streak-wise, but percentage-wise, this 50 on defect. And then you know what? That would be that Ironclad's the worst character. And, uh, that, that would be funny.
But yeah, we'll see what happens. So, honestly, looking at this, I, I think taking the goal is just... It's weird, right? Like, it's freaking 250 goal here and you don't click this. But uh, this map clicking 250 goal seems pretty bad. Okay, okay. Uh, there is one scenario I'm, I have not talked about, though. There is one scenario I have not talked about. It's that uh, I click this and there's a brick. <laughs> so the chance to break this thing is only like maybe 6%. But uh, if it breaks, I cannot take for it. So I have to go to... Probably actually yeah, here. If, if I cannot take this, I have to go through here. Maybe still run into this and then here... Actually, no, no. I always go here. I always go here and then decide. So the 4 elites option is open, but if the card breaks, most likely this cannot be done. And then I take back 2 elites. So an empty Neo bonus, but a better shot at the end. In 2, two elites, which is slightly quick. But that only happens at 6% of the time. Because the woodcut opens a lot of possible pathways, yes. Also closes a lot of them though. Depending on how you use it. 250 go is like... The path of 250 go is so sad here though. Especially... I guess if we see Cleric is not that bad. But yeah, sure, it does give us a mm, cheaper remove. And sometimes the curse is like clumsy, we don't need to remove. Uh, if I see a shop here or here, then we can also still go here, so it's not that bad. And we see uh, both question mark before the shop, so we don't get the uh, completely screwed over. Plus 2 is 30. 30, 279. 379, 309. 309 we can buy anything except a rarity. Okay, what are the, the bricks? Actually, I have the list, I should just look at it. What are the bricks on the color list? Uh, deep breath? Forethought? Impatience? Madness? My Blast? Panacea? Purity? Mm, Jack of all trades. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bricks. Yeah, roughly 6%. 94% of the time we get something either good or at least uh, decent enough. Oh yeah, if we hit the 6%, it's going to be insanely bad. On the other hand here, if we get a free remove, it's not that bad. But it's on the unique upgrade and defense. I mean, uh, by that point, it was already infinite, so the upgrade is like irrelevant. <laughs> Honestly, that was irrelevant. The only thing you needed to worry about in that spot is how... Uh, yeah, not to die when setting up. So, uh, I mean, defense upgrades doesn't make sense. But he can also upgrade Equilibrium, he can also upgrade the Steam Barrier. It doesn't make a, a damn difference. Like, exactly the same. At, at that point in time. And here, honestly, here I don't know what to do. Yeah, no, really. What what am I doing? If the choose the color list is like, I don't even know. Like, what what would it need to be? But honestly, as far as option one is concerned, choose the color list is probably on top already. For the tail end, yeah, it was uh, if it did like mid act 2. With uh, Sandayo, the Abacus, uh, a lot of removes, a purity, and two quoted plus. <laughs> and yeah, you really do not want to fight act 2 elites. That, that's honestly the same for. Honestly, even Watcher. Like, if you are extremely forcing infinite. No, no, not really forcing, but you are like extremely... But basically, you have no backup plan. Your only plan is to go infinite, then uh, you do not fight with it. <laughs> I guess 250 goal is still... It's still better, even if... Um... 
I'd say on average 250 gold is actually weaker than the choose the color list here, but um, the average um, the, the average outcome doesn't matter so much. What I'm worrying about is that the low roll cases, the choose of color list is like, so much worse. And yeah, like sometimes we can also high roll with the 250 gold, like in doing these two notes. Uh, unfortunately, if this the serpent, we still cannot take even right before the shop. But um, I don't know, maybe the curse is clumsy. And yeah, go to wood also gets way better. Not sure. Oh, it is clumsy. Okay, never mind, guys. Uh, two fifty go. Uh, two fifty goes pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clumsy. Yeah, clumsy for I'm chat. I don't even know whether that's like super negative or not. Because eventually we have some uh, funeral pain and uh, whatever. <laughs> really inspired when straight go back for this. I mean, uh, somebody literally asked this question like, yes, to the last stream. <laughs> and my answer is still the same. If I play something, it's because I want to play it. Like, feeling, if you do something because you feel inspired, like, I, I, I would say this, yeah. If your motivation goes up quickly, it will go down just as quickly. So you uh, you better do something because you want to do it, not because you feel inspired or whatever. Because then you just drop it when whenever things go badly. But uh, I this clumsy definitely means I do not need to go to floor two shop. So we take only uh, one shop in the first few floors. Oh, we start here. Uh, 18? <laughs> yeah, 18. Interesting. People talk about the jawworm. Uh, people talk about the jawworm all the time, guys. And uh, what, what is this? I mean, uh, let me fight the jawworm, please. Because as far as I'm concerned, the jawworm uh, only deals 17 damage on turn 3. And uh, here I am on floor 1 being attacked on it for 18 on turn 1. But yeah, the line this turn is... Um, I don't know, like can we can we play slow here? Because I can take 12, I can also take 8. But um, taking 8 means the next turn I still need to play one strike here. And this guy can attack every single turn. So I don't put any damage here. Only 2 defense left in the deck though. I don't see even if I kill here next turn, I mean, you can take a draw one and then this goes to 19 and 19 is still a bad number. Probably I do crit because this thing, this thing attacking for 12 and 21 also means that I don't get any slam shuffle in. Yeah. So the secondary shuffle is not, mm, it's not bad yet. Maybe I can try to play a little bit slower here. Because I don't, I, with the remaining cards in here, we also cannot rush this thing down. They're just going to cost me HP. Ow. Yeah, yeah, 18 return 2, guys. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, 36 damage in the first two turns, yeah? Uh, easy hallway fight, floor 1. First fight of the run. Yeah, at yeah, least this, this is good that I uh, maximum block last turn, because otherwise I would be uh, very sad this turn. I mean, I am still very sad, but uh, could be worse, you know. Hello, uh, Defender. Thank you for the good luck. At least next turn, this guy cannot do tail. We're still attacking and we take three more. Because why not? Uh, at least next turn, he dies. So, how much did I take? I take 8 into 7 into 3. Uh, yeah, minus 18. So now I heal back by, by 6, minus 12. At least potion. 19 gold is good. Potion is good. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh god. I mean it's a perfect shrine here's nothing. Uh yeah yeah. People who were around to see me, to hear me talk about the flex yesterday uh might think that the, the, maybe I pick flex over peace strike, but uh, this is definitely not the spot for the flex. Flex is usually pick when I have like maybe a remove start, maybe a draw card beforehand or like whatever. But here I, I don't even have any remove, I have uh, no draw card and my deck is even bigger than usual because it says plus one curse. 
And uh, yeah, a couple more exhausts. Uh, which is a good thing later. Right now, not so much. Oh yeah, we picked the peace strike. And because there's only two card worth before first edit, I do not skip. I think really red. But this is 19 heal. 19 heal, uh, pretty good. Any life loss in here, we can fully attack. <laughs> yeah, any life loss. Oh my god, peace right so good, guys. Why is this so good? Uh... Oh, there are two curses. So even if I do peace strike and strike here, I can still break next turn. Hello, choose thank you for the good luck. If I do defend and then kill this, um, seventy five percent of the time next turn this guy attacks, and what's the chance I do not draw this? That's like five. Okay, whatever. Like, um... 5 percent and then I need to draw... How how many hands is this? Uh, 6 to 5, yeah? So, 6. And then 8 to 5 is what? 8, 7, 6. Uh, then 1, 2, 3. So, 8, 7, 56. 6 out of 6 is a 56. Which is, um... 3 out of 28. Yeah, 10% and then another 3, so it's like 8%. That next turn you get uh, racked by 7. Honestly, it could be worse. What's the chance that I kill this guy next turn? The piece right, remove defense, try big deck. I mean, I also don't need to remove. If there's something else to buy, done removing, then I would just do that. We have a lot of, we have options. Okay, the other line, killing this immediately and playing strike here. So this guy goes to 12. And what does 12 say? 12 say that uh, if I draw bash, either I full block or I always have a kill. So I need to miss bash next turn for this to be bad. And I also need to miss uh, two defense. So I need to draw exactly this, 1 out of 56. Actually, even if I draw exactly this, it's still a kill. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense to not do this then. Hmm. Uh, do we want to solve Guardian right away? Or do we want to be stronger right now? Because solving the, the Guardian immediately is picking the spot weakness. <laughs> and yeah, it, it uh, look at the ad. Look at the ad, the ad also says that this thing solves Guardian. On the other hand, of course, there's Anger. And uh, yeah, Anger is like super sick uh, until we get to the Guardian. There is like not um, insanely bad, but it's not uh, solving the fight. One shot, one to three elites, two more fights. Another shot. Yeah, big angle. Okay, amazing relics. <laughs> uh, here's an angle. I uh, could have had that instead. And take the spot with this. Apparently, we cannot buy anything here unless you tell me to buy Blood Vial. But buying Blood Vial, trading for bites, and uh, then we have the piece right here. So that also doesn't really work that well. I mean, yeah, that's impervious on sales if we click that. And now what? Potion chance at the moment is 40. This deals with sentries fight a little bit. This deals with Lagavulin, kind of, and Impervious. So the North fight is a little bit weird, but we also added two attacks. Second angle is a complete nonsense, yeah. Brutality on 75 gold, complete nonsense. Is there really nothing here? Like, buying Blood Vial 167, we get 128. 128, plus 90, 280, 218, 248. 248 into this shop is still okay. Even if I buy a potion, I can still afford a relic next shop. 
if we are uh, really worried about this city. And attack potion is only like 54 gold. It can also be a strike to, to boost the peace strike damage. I mean, yes, I do not actually feel amazing about the, the super early North fight at the moment. Searing blow. Yeah, searing blow. You, you spot the line. <laughs> yeah, three fires. Searing blow, three fires, farm two elites, uh, not the last shop, and then uh, four fires here. Yeah, upgrade a uh, searing blow, and then we can remove the peace strike. Absolutely. How did I get the early curse? It's from the uh, Neo Bonus for 250 gold. Anytime over this? No, no. This card is uh, absolute, absolute garbage. This is not even a card you take when you are desperate. <laughs> I would buy Brutality before I buy Metamorphosis. But mm, not really, right? Okay, how much HP is Blood Vial in this act? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 12 HP. Oh, that is expensive. That's having peace right move level down at all. It definitely moves it down. But um, right now, I'm not like super concerned about that yet. It is still, still 12 HP. Our deck is like okay, but it's not amazing. And HP will play in the Guardian fight, looking at uh, how, how the deck is like shaping up. At least in the first few floors. And yeah, the, the more important thing is that there's also uh, nothing in here to spend gold on. So I probably do that. I probably even do uh, Blood Vival plus Attack Potion. We still have enough gold to, to deal with this. That is already assuming that this doesn't even give us gold. And this is not gold. And yeah, like, let's say this is like World of Wolf. We have been forced into the shop here, so of course we take the gold. And the uh, Blood Vival HP is even uh, more important. I take this. He's right up red. It's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 damage. Yeah, could be worse. We can upgrade Bash instead, but uh, probably not. We don't need the, the Bash vulnerable that much against the knock because the uh, Peace Strike Plus with Attack Potion and the Anger should deal with the knock before this vulnerable runs out. And into Lagavulin, I guess Bash Plus is better into Lagavulin, but in that fight we also have Anger already. And uh, into Sentry, this is way better. Into the Guardian, probably this is also better. Hey, we are uh, going to maximum elite. What a garbage. Ah, he's right up here. Bottom decking our bash, yeah? So 17 next turn 25 and it needs to be 25 damage. Potion chance right now is only 40%. Uh this defense is at least neutral, so uh, I can always play this. Is that common relic? No, it's cursed for 250 gold. Expecting bash is actually really bad here because now I don't even know whether I should open this or not. And if I don't open this, we also like maybe throw a potion away. If I use this potion, potentially we are using two potions here, and that's like terrible. <laughs> Why did I remove the curse? I bought a blood vial and attack potion instead. Because there's also a second shop in here, and clumsy gets out of its own, so like removing it for 75 gold. Not super, super great. Yeah, this draw does like also uh, super bad. We miss Impervious on turn 3, of course, and then we also draw a bottom deck our bash. And now the damage value is awkward because uh, yeah, I need 25 damage from this attack potion. Otherwise, I also need to blow 2 potions. But uh, yeah, before I take this 28, I probably use 2 potions. Okay. It is 20, 25 damage, so we get bailed out. This is 24, this is 27. Oh, imagine not buying attack potion though. Ah yes, the boot. Exactly what I need. Yeah, here's the searing blow. I have to say that I'm not feeling amazing about uh, the start of this act one. 
I, I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling amazing. I mean, I know we just farm an elite and now we have 63 HP, yeah? But that's only because I bought a potion for it. What's the worst curse of Neo? Normality? No, no, it's not even close. Like, the worst curse is probably pain. And the second one is most likely regret. I... That depends on the character, though. On silent, I would say maybe doubt is even worse. But, uh... I... On like iron title defect, probably regret or pain. Probably pain is more. It's worse. But yeah, like absolute garbage, right? So uh, you cannot pick any of these unless you want Sentinel to add a defense to our deck because it's Guardian. But no way, right? Even if we just bought a knock, like this can be the knock again. And it doesn't even outperform uh, our defense in these fights. Hey, another relic that doesn't really do anything. I think I do I still have this, by the way. And uh, I'm absolutely willing to use this. Yeah, both 41 who saved me the trouble. I don't need to <laughs> actually calculate. Okay, I do need to calculate a little bit, though. This thing is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, right? 27, 37, 37... Actually, that's not change anything. I still do two attacks and the, the keep the explosive pot, and we see. Depending on the draw, the, the line is not very flexible. <laughs> like this, we just do impervious and full block. I don't know whether we can get away with saving this potion in this fight, though. But um, at least the line stone doesn't change. And next on the line is also clear. This is 33 damage already, so... I guess we do Explosive Pot next turn, but like, we Impervious here, yeah? And then we strike this guy. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The next time we can angle here. But my point is that we Explosive Pot, and then P strike on attack here is 33. It's 43, so if this thing dies, this thing goes down to... I don't know, 10. Yeah, it goes down to 10. So this turn we take like 5 damage and then next turn we maybe we get taxed a little bit. Wait, it's 24. What? Okay, never mind because I'm, I'm high. Apparently I am high. Why do you think it's 27? Wait, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Oh yeah, it starts with 6. Right, right, right. I, I count. I, I count the. I, I count the uh, three damage on this thing twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I basically count the six three damage on this thing twice, on on its own. Yeah, it's twenty four. Does that change anything? Maybe it cost me five HP. I can also kill Mido. Like killing Mido put three more days is in the deck. But uh, how bad is that? Because it saves like ten HP immediately. Yeah, let's do that. Never punish, guys. I cannot be punished. Yeah, not bad, right? Now we just draw peace by kill this before the days matters. Okay, draw bastards on two strikes. Not yeah, easy. Thank you, so. Okay, potion bell, perfect. Um, another relic that doesn't do anything. So like one, two. 3, 4 fights on potions, 60% at least. So maybe now we can fill some potions. Uh, second win into the second win we just fought the sentries here. Not pretty much can be uh, coming up next, and into the Guardian is complete nonsense. The uh, entrance here, absolute garbage. So here's the true grid or nothing. The true grid. <laughs> the unfortunate thing about the true grid is that it makes LP strike weaker. So normally the two wit can deal with the guardian in our case I don't even know. And it's up against plus two max HP. So probably just plus two max and we hope that the second shot builds uh, build us out. Because if we have a not much in here, the two wit is not even good. At least it's still easy for way. Plus two like we are playing silence, so yes. Absolutely. Nice boy, yes, thank you very much. Exactly the potion I'm looking for. 
Okay, what's our potion chance? Like five fights, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, fifty. Limit break. Oh my god, yellow card. Six thousand hours in the game. Just noticed I got close red when we play anger. Okay, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, I also did not know that. Oh, that's really bad, by the way. The um, what, what what is happening here? And we see no useful potion, zero relics, and the uh, cards are also like very bad against the guardian. Even if we have like seventy HP, we can be chipped down. Especially if the next elite fight goes badly. So yeah, here's a headbutt. Uh, it's headbutt over or nothing. We just bought the sentry, so it's absolutely not cheap. We have no strength, it's absolutely not limit break. It's headbutt over not or nothing. And headbutt does work a little bit with the the peace fight plus. And we have the defend plus. So I don't know what that means, but uh, we do have a defend plus. And if we fight the knob again, it's useful. If we fight the Lagavulin, I guess it's also useful. With the boss guardian. And I am uh, freaking scared right now. Hopefully the second shot is better than the first one. But so far in this act, we have gotten... We should have gotten so many things and yet we have nothing. Which is, uh, yeah, not really a good spot to be in. That's why, yeah, yeah, we are, you look at this, we have four relics, uh, we have potion mail, we have four, five, five fights. And yet we have nothing. <laughs> but yeah, sure, headbutt over, over 2 HP. I think this fight is, like, manageable. Yes, melee after? I mean, it is technically melee after chest. It is a two floors after the chest. The shop at the start was like really bad though. This question marker, okay. Like, healing here into uh, shining light here is like fine. This is serpent, of course, we know question marks icon is bad, but uh, we can't believe If I double block here, deal 35, next one is weakening. This was going to 18, yeah? So 35, 35, and let's say I do defend angle headbutt strike next turn. Which is 21. 21, 35, 14, but kills. If I do not draw headbutt, if I draw something like this, then I deal 18 next turn. This alone is uh, enough block, I take one next turn. So 27, it goes to 17. 17, this is 6. Which is still... it's still doable. Not always though. But the difference is 5 HP. And uh, 5 out of 6. Yeah, no way. Right? It's double effect. Regen potion, okay, maybe that helps a bit. <laughs> yes, burning pipe, exactly what we need. Into the Guardian, we are peace strike. Uh, iron wave though. The iron wave is uh, positive in the Guardian fight. Positive in the elite, can be upgraded. Um, I mean, we probably upgrade Bash before the Guardian, if anything, but mm, I don't mind drawing iron wave in the Guardian fight. And it probably outperforms the, the cliff a little bit. Because right now, if we bring this crap into Act 2, yeah? <laughs> I mean, especially if we break on energy. If we break on energy ratings and we bring this crap into Act 2, I don't even want to think about what happens. <laughs> but yeah, sure, like, uh, Iron Wave is still better than Skip. Like a bullet. We have anger. I don't know whether that means anything, but we do have anger here. So no bash setup, and we cannot open with peace, right? Uh, or we potentially miss the impervious. 
But waiting... I think we can snake war next turn. <laughs> Penny AVT, thank you very much for the sub and the seven month. Official lot. We can snake war next turn. We will shuffle out uh, like all of this plus three cards, but this exhaust. And this thing also get discounted and we can head bottom later. If we draw well, we also don't need to next snake war. But I don't even know what drawing well would be because uh, these are all two costs. We cannot play bash into three strike. The other line is potentially Snake Oil right now. If we Snake Oil right now and we get some zero cost and Headbutt's playable, we can Headbutt the thing. We play the thing open immediately and then Headbutt the, the other thing. But uh, we potentially miss Impervious. If we Snake Oil next turn, I don't know. I, I feel I have a feeling that I'm being like, extremely optimistic here. But uh, I mean, we do have 77 HP. 4 HP plus the Regen Potion is 92. So I don't know, maybe we can brute force the Guardian. Even if our deck is terrible against the fight. And we can buy potions. But yeah, like opening right now or snake oil right now is also it's just nonsense. Okay, bottom deck the bash and we missed the impervious. But uh, we can peace right here. We, we can just peace right plus the strike. And I don't know, next turn maybe we can snake oil. Depending on what we draw. If we draw anger first, we play anger into the snake oil. But Snake Oiling right now shuffles out both the Peace Strike Plus and the Impervious and uh, we might not even be able to play Bash into Peace Strike or like whatever. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, play Anger first and then Snake Oil. This Snake Oil is never going to be used in the, the Guardian fight. Okay, Impervious cost 3, but Bash cost 0. And this thing also... Yeah, we play Peace Strike. Yeah, uh, we absolutely play Peace Strike over the Impervious. It's not even close. Okay, Snake Oil is OP, guys, apparently. Apparently, Snake Oil is OP. Okay, this, this probably solves the, the Guardian. I mean, solve is a heavy word, but... Uh, we will not die to Guardian on 76 with this. Like, no chance. Especially when we can guarantee a split with Fire Potion and Naka Vector. Brimstone. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like a Brimstone deck to me. So, uh, probably not. If not Brimstone, there's a Pomo Strike to make our Peace Strike stronger. Um, there's also a flash of steel, there's also maybe a metallic size, maybe a remove. But uh, remove is weird, yeah, because we any remove makes the, the piece strike worse. We remove clumsy is also like, extremely good, you exhaust on it all. <laughs> brimstone, yeah, yeah, if, if this is flawed, cool. If the brimstone is here, I will buy it. But uh, now, no way. In, in this deck, it doesn't. I mean, it might work, but. Uh, Early act 2 is actually not that strong, even with the Brimstone. Pinfire, yeah. Pin, Pinfire for pool price is no, because it makes the, the pin strike. It makes the piece strike complete garbage. We have no draw for it. And it's another upgrade target that's competing with like the, the armor when it's before the Guardian. And in the Guardian fight, it also doesn't really perform. Unplayable? No, absolutely not. Brimstone, uh, we don't, honestly, you don't care about the, the Guardian if you take Brimstone. You just kill him before uh, <laughs> before you have any trouble. But here I can see Pomo Strike. I can see, uh, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not um, even against like, buying this Metallicize on sale. Okay, Pinfire Akabeko is, is something though, I would say that. Pinfire Akabeko is really strong. Only if we see some draw. Right now we have not. And these potions are also way too expensive, right? They are not even uh, super useful at the moment. And I guess bringing this thing until like, Act 4 is like kind of a thing. But uh, I don't think we are strong enough to guarantee that we can carry potions around yet. Please try work off the amount of strike, yes. If you exhaust a strike, you uh, lose damage. If you add a strike uh, through dual wield or near risk cortex, you gain damage. Okay, okay. What, whatever happens, this is probably clear. If we spend go in this shop, this is probably the one of the strongest things. 
so I can do that. And afterwards, I choose between maybe Flash of Steel, Metallicize, or Remove, or Potion. I do not think we need a Potion at all, for, just for the Guardian fight. And into Act 2, I would prefer to buy a card over like one of the potions that I don't even know. Like, what, what are these doing? I mean, the Duplication Potion is pretty strong on the P-Strike Plus. But other than that, um, not super good. Flash of Steel is not um, amazing in the Guardian fight. But we we do have the boot, and after we leave the after we leave that one is going to be good, unless you tell me we are picking snack or which uh, yes might be true. We have anger, but uh, then anger is the obvious remove target, right? Then suddenly we have some impervious uh, peace strike, yeah, some, some impervious peace strike. I come back for uh, snack or thing. These things also speak for snack or like both of these. So what about just doing uh, something like metallic size? The upgrade is still going to be armament. So if I do not add this metallic size, are we completely fine in Scadian or not? Because that still seems fishy, even from 75 HP. Our damage is not that high, yeah? so we cannot even guarantee uh, a split. Fire Potion can maybe cover for like, one of those, but uh, when the, the hit is 60, if the bash doesn't line up, it's also weird. The Flash of Steel cannot be played during the Thorn's turn. And our block density is also not that high. So uh, we will take chip damage here, left, right, and center. <laughs> and another thing is that Metallic Size also on sale. Yeah, the Metallic Size plays in the Guardian fight is on sale. Uh, it's not even that bad early act 2. I don't mind it. It's also yeah, yeah, it's cheaper. And yeah, I don't do anything else here, right? I don't I don't need to waste more on potions. If I buy potions, it's in act two shop. I really can remove some Z, but yeah, not really. I will definitely go on armament before the, the Guardian. Next up is definitely on the uh, Pomo Strike, but right, we'll see. Okay, we can uh, speed turn one without the potion use, that's very good. We can wait, but there's no guarantee we can actually speed turn two with this. And these are not um, terrible cards to be drawn in the first attack cycle. And yeah, of course we have HP so we can boot force. Hmm, not a huge fan of this actually. If I pass now, we have one turn vulnerable still persisting when it's doing the 5 times 4, but uh, that doesn't actually lead to anything. I mean, at least I uh, speed last turn. I think, no, no, no. If I did not speed last turn, we would split this turn perfectly with the boot. We we'll play anger at the end. At the, at the start, no way. Yeah, we would actually split perfectly with the boot. With this uh, armor made into pass. Do we still do it? Or like how how important is vulnerable? Like not at all, right? At least not not in this spot. We must be able to lock and take a big hit next turn, unless we draw into impervious, which we do. And yes, I do play impervious. Um, this head next turn is not too bad, right? I'm willing to take like twelve damage next turn, and then I can headbutt on the the P strike. To guarantee the split. So I do not actually want to draw here. Oh yeah, we have HP. Let's just spend the HP. Really now. <laughs> and we also draw two defend plus as well. Hmm. Ooh, drawing full defense first right here is like so bad. That makes me feel like I should not actually speed this turn. And there's no, yeah, there's no brick next turn, right? Even if I wait one turn. So I just do, uh... I mean, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, what am I talking about? I cannot even split. 
It's only 35 because I have Acabe Coton. Wa. So, of course, we deal 33 here next turn we split. Drawing another two defects. Uh, whatever, I guess. The boot. It is fine at least. And I do play the headbutt plus. So, so that I do have some uh, guarantee block next turn. Copy your defense plus over the armor. Plus. Like three, and yeah, Metallic side doing pretty good work here. Uh, this time I probably want to play pass. So we take um, another nine damage, but doesn't matter. We have more than enough HP. Yeah, like this is like completely fine. 1340, the splits, I can deal 49 instead. And shuffle out the anger, not waste and vulnerable. If we rejoin to the bash, it's also good. This cannot, cannot win. Because we still have this. Uh, drawing the ambulance here is not amazing, but uh, fine. Anger can be played now. So I can do anger into strike 11 damage or just uh, armaments anger. Deal 8 but get up with an anger. Probably just deal damage, he's dead soon. And yeah, sure, I deal this. Take one, end the fight, or take zero. I take zero. I don't know how much damage Metallic Side saved, but uh, it was quite a lot. So it's like fine. No potion. Offering. Demon form doesn't actually make sense with uh, whatever this is, yeah, unless we see Snake Go. Uh, offering works better with Armament Plus, and we also have some sustain from Blood Vial already. And Exloom doesn't really do much. Like it's only impervious, nothing else. <laughs> oh my freaking god, man. And yeah, Astro Lips unpickable because we have the Peace Strike Plus. Uh, so here's the, the Sneko Eye versus Axoplasm. <laughs> I don't know, like, this one is one of those ones where it feels extremely weird, because, uh, you see, yeah, at the end of the day, what happened in this time? We farmed three elites, we took the strongest and your option, farmed three elites, and end the act with basically full HP. But yeah, I do not feel good about this one at all, at this point. <laughs> it's just like one of those runs. Okay, how is um, Astro 3 defense? No, no, no. If I take the Astro left, I still do 2 strike and um, maybe even the peace strike. Or maybe 2 strike, 1 defense. But probably 2 strike and then the peace strike. But energy is still played here. Like the uh, Ectoplasm last play, yeah? And Ectoplasm with the peace strike also uh, not as bad because then this thing doesn't really get much weaker. But we have only 163 gold, so that's not enough to do a lot of things, especially when we have Potion Bell. With Potion Bell, the gold also gets stronger. Because then, uh, Act, Act 4, if you have nothing else to do, you buy 3 potions. And suddenly, you are still like, extremely strong. Now, yeah, we, I talked about the Snackle already. The good thing about Snackle is that we do have uh, a, an obvious remove target afterwards, so we can just remove the anger. And then it still works a little bit with the Peace Shrine and the Impervious, and we have the offering is not even negative with the Sneko. If I do not have this Potion Bell, I would probably click Ectoplasm here. But uh, with the Potion Bell, that definitely changes. Oh yeah, we pick Sneko, and uh, I don't know, maybe we die early Act 2, maybe we don't. 
Hopefully we don't. Okay, now we could pick a feed fire. Like with, with the Sneko and the Akabeko, I absolutely pick feed fire. Like and uh, yeah, ignore this. But we can we can we can easily deny this act two from this spot. Uh, dying or not doesn't matter. We still run into the four lead path. Extremely early shot, which is uh, probably better than usual with the snake core. That's completely fine. There's no super late shot. We're running into four elites. The safe part in here is one elite, which is uh, completely unacceptable. So we just go here. We just start here, take this shop, and then run into here, 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 here. And yeah, that's our act. Snake core, I've seen as you with potion bell a little bit. Because um, on a you, if you say that on average this thing is actually stronger, but um, in some turns it absolutely screws you over, like in, in some important fights. And in those fights, you have to throw potion in the fight and solve that. And in other fights, this thing carries you. Okay, uh, excellent start. Oh my god, the boot. Ah, Sneko, yeah? Uh, the freaking Sneko. Okay, so apparently we take a big hit next turn. Apparently we, we do take a big hit next turn. And uh, there's not much we can do about it. How much can we deal this turn maximum if we go for full damage? Like, Armament Strike Anger, it deals 9 hit. So this goes to 16, 31. So I guess if we throw 5 potion at it, next turn we can do something. I mean, I do play this angle. But I'm just wondering whether I should play this defense on this try. Because if I play this right, I can actually bail myself out with the 5 pot next turn. But uh, without this right, I cannot. If I play the defense, I'm um, basically taking the hit. I still have the regen potion though. And the blood vial. If this draw is exactly peace right or the impervious, we are also still fine. So that's one now of. Um, 15. Uh, it's lower than that because the uh, cannot always play the foremost strike. But okay, five potion goes to 22. 22 means I need to play all these three. That's not true. That's not true. Ah, uh, it's one off though. <laughs> Even with the boot, it's one off. If I don't play an attack now. If I play 2 attacks next turn, I deal uh, 5 and then 9, so I deal 14. This thing is at 15. So I guess I do strike then. I don't miss a maker. Yeah, now I can uh, kill now with a 5 pot. Oh, I take uh, 19, so I do 5 pot. And we can play two attacks here. 17 damage. No potion. 50% now. Server Soul and Trench. Uh, Server Soul does say cost full, but uh, it's still only 16 damage. It's not... Mm, not like uh, insanely amazing or anything. We don't have any boat relics. So the Entrench, even if it says two on the top left, is still fairly bad. <laughs> if we actually see a barricade, then suddenly it's good because we have the headbutt and we have impervious. But yeah, right now there's no uh, there's no barricade. It opens barricade immediately. But I mean barricade with the snake was already uh, almost a pick. And yeah, it's also up against uh, max HP. It's weird, right, to hatch on the um, hatch on the, the entrance in this spot. I'm just thinking why the server so is better than two HP or not, but the answer is probably no. If it's server so plus, I would take, but server so minus, not really. Thanks, burner. Oh, that would be nice. 
Um, this one is pretty garbage, yeah? Yeah, discovery uh, or nothing. So we can do discovery uh, angle remove. Or buy some potion. We can buy a second regen potion. 157 gold impervious. Yeah, 157 gold half an impervious that uh, doesn't get in play maybe like 5 turns later. When discovery good? Uh, most times. This is a very good card. It's just like not completely reliable. So if you have something reliable in the shop, you would rather buy... You, you would prefer to buy that. In this one, it's probably good. Because there's also nothing here. And I do want to spend my gold. This is the only shop. I don't want to see Clary. I don't know where I'm going afterwards, so... Uh, do I want this fire? What, what does the fire do? Almost right upgrade a little bit. Improvement upgrade a little bit. Maybe bash or like iron wave upgrade, but not amazing. Maybe rest. None of these potions are like insane either. Yeah? The fire potion we just uh, use would be pretty nice in this fight. But of course we don't have that. It's probably just angle remove uh, discovery. Then we move on. Take your fight first. After this fight, we are still extremely flexible. I mean, these are going to both be advanced hallways though, if we want to go to this fire. But we can also, if we see that advanced hallways are like insanely bad, uh, because we, we bleed like heavily here. If we can take this fight, I would like to take these fights, yeah. Because seeing card rewards and with deck is better than, than usual, especially when your deck is trash. And then filling up the potion bell is also stronger. And uh, something here like bites, operations are uh, super weird. So I would like to see more card rewards. I mean, we can do that for, for the later half of this, because like, there's no question mark in the second half here. You want to farm uh, late question marks and actual uh, colors here? We'll uh, screw you because there's no question marks here. Yeah, I look at this. You want to go to this path? There's like one elite path. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I go here first. And then we, we see whether we have to do this or we can go here. Oh, this fight will hurt. Okay, maybe this fight doesn't hurt that much. Um, I do play the offering though. I do play the offering. That was not very useful. And yeah, our strong turns over, now we suffer. Do we suffer? Oh, energy. Uh, well, that's quite good. And I play, uh, I actually play headbutt over the defense. To kill next turn. That's not too bad. No potion, 60% now. So we even have even more incentive to go here. And uh, garbage. Oh, we have been uh, skipping cards like every four act one or one. Mostly armor doesn't really do anything, right? It doesn't cut it. Especially not over two marks. Cleave is absolute trash and body slam slightly stronger than usual with armament plus. Because then we can do something like, uh, yeah, we draw this together, body slam, we decode to zero, and then we can play impervious sometimes. But uh, not exactly, right? It doesn't. I don't even see any attack that goes with freaking Akabek for. <laughs> okay, technically this thing works with Akabek for. Oh my freaking god. And we are fighting collector. Do not tell me. I want more win, man. I do not want this. <laughs> I do not want cliff miners. Like, please give me a freaking war win. But uh, yeah, like advanced always. Like, how how often does the cliff help in advanced always? We feel to believe we are desperate enough. Yeah, yeah. Then you see one fight, we take thirty damage, and then we you wonder like how it happened. Let's look at our deck right now. We have zero AoE damage whatsoever. So we see Gremlin Leader, we are toast. We see the Triple Cultist, we are toast. 
We see, uh, I don't know, chosen cultists. Like, what are we doing? Yeah? Like, no, seriously, what are we doing? Yeah, we die, right? <laughs> I mean, we don't die immediately. With 70 HP, we don't really die in one fight. But uh, we get chipped down like, really quickly. Very debatable. Yeah, Wembley leader. What do you do? But uh, honestly, right now I'm the most scared of the, the leader. I mean, move stabbing probably also can kill us, but the cliff doesn't really help there. The slaver, the cliff is uh, positive if we draw third one with Akabeko. Afterwards, uh, if it's cheap, of course it's positive. In the collector fight, it's like okay, not amazing, not pretty terrible. <laughs> And of course, it's upgrades first too. Okay, uh, how how's the the pathing? How how fast is it? Technically speaking, there's a safe path after a safe portion after we take this. Like we take this, we can uh, pivot here. But I really don't want to do that because if, if we have to pivot here into this fire, terrible things happen. Because we cannot even buy anything here anymore. But question mark, this pot over 5 is also like complete nonsense. Potion chain 60, our potion spell is empty. Our cards are complete trash. And we have no auto protection. We are not trading for buys. We are not taking operation. So yeah, the, the taking question mark in this pot is like absolute nonsense. I think the clip. Yeah, I think the clip. Okay, at least this guy gave us a free turn. <laughs> if nobody else got us, at least Neko got us. When three runs yesterday, when we're still terrible, I'm still learning with two. Congratulations! Like, three wins in a row is really good. And yeah, keep going, man. And you are welcome. Uh, Discovery or Metallicize or what? Probably discovery, right? Because then we can headbutt the, the discover card immediately. Oh, even better. Man, discovery is so good, guys. Oh, my freaking discovery is so good. 70% potion chance, yeah. Still no potion. Hello, DJ Ole. Thank you for the good luck. Uh, after getting this potion mail, how many potions have we have we gotten? Like one. I don't even want to think about how many fight, but whatever. Okay, somebody get this clip out of my neck, please. No, uh, can can somebody do it? Like, can can somebody uh, remove this clip right now for free? That would be great. But okay, at least we have go win Akabek corner, so maybe we can do something. <laughs> Trick shift, yeah, I did. I absolutely did because we, we are having fights, and uh, at the moment, with nothing else, we are dying to leader. Uh, but yeah, we're not where it's good, right? So, we do have a reason to go here now. So, I still take more fight. Next plan. Okay, that was stupid, but whatever. We have the mood in this fight, but it doesn't matter too much. Oh, this guy is stupid. We are massively high rolling in these fights, but uh, not regarding the potions. But during the fight itself, like taking no damage in here is completely insane. Uh, potion at 80% by the way, yeah. With the uh, potion belt. Exhum. Can do whatever card that causes cheap. It's another impervious. And uh, we can exhum discovery, yes. But, but yeah, whatever card that costs cheap between these three. Can exhum. That has to be better than two marks. Then.
I will silence Neko to every phone I go to never saw Neko and Woodcast, yeah. I, I'm feeling exactly the same, like, I, I have no idea how we are taking zero damage in these fights, but uh, it just happened. Okay, grab Lily though. The cliff. Oh my freaking god, the cliff, guys. Uh, and yeah, we are playing the cliff. And afterwards, I don't even know. Do we perfect the strike the leader or do we perfect the strike the, the gremlin? Because Imperfect is still in our deck, so even if she attacks next turn, it's not that bad. And this is wasting like, a lot of damage here. We do need to kill the leader eventually. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, like this should. I, I, I'm telling you, this should not happen. Like, the, the, the fight we are doing right now, this should not happen, but uh, apparently uh, we're just high rolling every fight. So I don't know. Maybe we are strong. But I don't, I, I don't really don't uh, trust that we are actually strong. Okay, next question, do I ammo before or after the offering? Is it happen on average? No, no, we miss impervious a, 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 a any turn. You, you see, yeah? we have not missed a single impervious yet. We miss impervious in one turn, we take 20 extra. So the fact that we have done that for like, uh, I don't know, three fights in a row is incredible. But okay, do I uh, offering before or after armor first? Um, probably, probably before because the these cards are not like spectacular either. So even if I get in one of these for free, it doesn't matter nearly as much. And I can if I do it before, I can also um, hammer when the exhum go to zero and then offering again. Okay, do not hit that, but doesn't really matter. Uh, next question, do I promo strike before or after? Thirty more, yeah, yeah. But the, the thing I was scared about is not taking 30. <laughs> it's not just 30 is the thing. We roll very good fights and we drew insanely well. Like, most of these need to happen. I mean, you just you just see the very first time of this I can you you know what I'm talking about. You just see the very first time of this like that we fight a single baseball, and uh, either five four happens or I take nineteen. But yeah, next question: Do I promo before or after the armament? I can still head back to Plus for next turn, so okay, right now it's fine. Draw two. No, not 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 because draw two is better right now, but I do want to head for more plus. Is the thing. Okay, we got the exhum zero cost anyway. Uh, does that mean anything? Because I can exhume the zero cost offering and continue. Not much point to be honest. I, I think I just leave the card in my deck. I mean if I exhume the offering right now, we might not even need to play the impervious. Because then I can play like defend iron wave instead. I mean I can still play defend iron wave. Maybe I should just do that. Take 5 damage. And keep the, the impervious plus in my deck. Can I get zero cost? Yeah, yeah, you can. Whether I would like to draw war win this turn, no? Yeah, probably not, right? And I get back the... What do I get back? I think war win only needs to happen for two. But I would like to also play the bash here if possible. If I have a moment, war win only needs to happen for one. 
The rest of my deck is already upgraded, so the armament in the redraw is not that strong. So I guess I do headbutt the armament. I mean, I also not play the headbutt, but that's probably not very good. Did the they zoom in there? I've been cost three, of course. Uh, I still bash her, right? Still bash her. And yeah, I guess this is more damage. We do we do this. He attacks again, but we draw zero cost X two. <laughs> no, seriously. No, seriously. I'm telling you, this will not happen. But whatever, enjoy the, the high roll in the fight. So, uh, whatever, we outplay the leader completely. And here is just a uh, headbutt on the bash and uh, play the metallic size. Oh, we just outplay the grim leader like, completely. It's not even close. Actually, completely insane. Okay, at least we got a potion now. So, uh, potion chance right now is uh, 70. This relic is not amazing with Neko though, because it can upgrade the uh, Exhum. Upgrading Discovery might not even be that good because of the Exhum. Upgrade Offering doesn't matter as much. These are okay. These are not okay. So, we just take Kuma. Unless you tell me it's Heavy Blade with a Strength Potion. But not really, right? Okay, Impervious Upgrade is very good. The And yeah, we upgrade the Whirlwind before the second elite. Might still get right by Wood Stabbing, but now we have this. And Slavers, maybe we can even kill turn 1 or turn 2. Okay, Book is here. This part is spooky. This fight is like very spooky. So do I strength potion here or not? He's like costing three doesn't really matter. We can redraw the cost with the headbutt. I mean this always happens, I can play that first. Uh if I do not potion here this turn we're dealing 42 damage. With vulnerable not now. In previous and block for one turn, there's no shockwave. Okay, the the scary thing about this, yeah, is that if we cannot even kill this thing without a strength potion, then uh, how many flaws do we have left? Yeah, because if we actually have serious problem against this guy, then this fight will uh, kill us. But I guess we have four more relics. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 card rewards and potentially maybe 3 more potions. Maybe even 4 more. So by the time we get to Collector, we should be like much, 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 much stronger. Yeah, we, we might need to try and Collector, absolutely. But uh, not if we die here, yeah. Not, not, not die, but we go to like critical HP that we cannot continue on this part. But this part, there's no, there's no break. This part is just like... Deep go fight after deep go fight after deep go fight. That was just not amazing in not, not that amazing for our deck at the moment either. But uh it's of course it's still going to help a lot in collector with the whirlwind. He has already four damage. How much damage is this? This is plus 8, 27, 40 with vulnerable. But we need to draw bash. This is bash minus, and we have no armament yet. So it needs to be bash minus into the headbutt immediately. And then the next time we play three strike. Even that is still. This is 42. The, that is 40. 40 plus another 9 is uh, 49. 91, 91, 90, 99. This thing, this thing is still a 70 HP. Yeah, we, we use strength potion. Because we also get one wound immediately already. And uh, Peace Right stronger than this. Of course, we trade 2 for 29 damage. Okay. 
Okay, now, now this is a snack I know and love. Yeah, this, this is a snack I know and love, yes. So if we impervious this time we cannot play the bash and then we uh, get like completely destroyed. So the other choice is taking 21. Uh, we take 21. Because with the impervious in the in here we can also head on it next turn and then use this to block 35. Next turn is only 24. So we take this 21 right here next turn we take 24 total 45 damage no problem. I mean, we are not dead yet. Uh, discovery, do I discovery? If I discovery, I also need to play offering. If it doesn't hit, but take 16 next turn. Even if I do impervious, it's not over yet. Okay, I do play discovery. These are not the best. Roger gives me one strength. Probably not, I just take mentality size 3 block. So here I can do Pomo Strike Shuffle into the defense. Or I can headbutt the Impervious to make sure there's no problem next turn. But this turn I will going to take 13. And then we still need to kill over 2. But this is already 16, is that 38? This is already 30. And we also have Exhum for the Impervious. So maybe we can even block one turn more. And yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say that uh, I expect to uh, bleed like every single fight in this act. Can I exhum the, the offering if I want to do that? Or I can exhum the, the discovery instead. Uh, exhuming drawn on this turn means that I need to kill it next turn. And if I exhum the discovery, I also lose out on the cliff. So I probably just exhum the, the offering and get out of here. Why is it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are out of here. Let's head the cliff and then uh, always kill next one. Ocean chance right now is 17. Okay, gambling chip is exceptional. No potion, so it's back to 80. But gambling chip with Akabeko might mean that we can sometimes nearly one-shot the slippers. Infernal Blade plus, yes, it's green, exactly what we need here. Uh, Fear No Pain, oh, how, how is Fear No Pain? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, not terrible, not amazing, it's fine. It's fine. And we do fight this indeed immediately, right? Uh, and then instead of going here. Okay, I better this thing better give us something. Yeah. And it is the step first now. And yeah, we discuss uh, all this. We do keep the defense, even if it's only a defense. And here's the clip. Ah, interesting. So we can burning pack to block for more or just take this for a little bit more damage. We can uh, discover one more time by the way. I mean I also actually want to burning pack away the, the Pomo Strike 3 cost here. Yeah. This is never getting played this turn. And it also block for more. No, really, I told you, I do, I do not want this. But, uh, sure, I, I guess we can take it. It does make a piece right, like, same damage again, so sure. Leave first. And then, uh, yeah, sure, almost right. Four threes. 
we are weakened, so we cannot actually kill next turn with only the, the whirlwind. It's actually pretty fishy. And really makes me wonder whether I should regen potion or not. Yeah, yeah regen time, I'm really thinking about it. Because uh, right now we're full block, but next turn we are facing... Like... We are going to be vulnerable. Yeah, we, we are going to be vulnerable two turns from now. And Impervious is already gone. We can hold the Impervious technically. And take uh, 9, 7 damage in this turn. Because there's still the headbutt here. Wait, what about holding impervious? Well, yeah, probably. Probably close to it. But I'm really thinking about this 5 damage on this guy. When we can this thing dealing 18, so even if I put a strike here, we're still 1 off, unfortunately. But how much damage is P strike now? We remove 1 formal strike from the thing, but we got back the formal strike, yeah? so damage is still the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 27. 27 when we can... Uh, 20. Oh, 20. 20 plus 5 is uh, 25. Oh, that's a quite good number. I like that. And also opens up the potential for headbutt on Impervious. Oh, yeah, I pop Regen Potion and just use Iron Wave instead of Impervious. Right? It doesn't actually make sense to do this. If this guy is attacking for 13 on turn 1, then I play impervious. But he's only attacking for 8 and we are weakened. Yeah, 20. Oh, what a nice number, guys. So, uh, defense plus over armament. We are still bleeding quite a lot here, yeah? But, uh, do we have impervious in the next skill? Next time we draw a and we at least we block for three here. Burbius. We do play this. Next turn no longer weaken. This guy's really playing weaken next turn, but uh, maybe he can die. The costing two is a little bit unfortunate. We are massively over blocking, but whatever. It might costing 3. Ah, defense also costs 3, and we are picking uh, Wiccan again. And we draw like 3 wounds this turn. That's really bad. Because even if we have the head the whirlwind right here, we don't kill next turn. We are 1 off from killing this guy. So we need an attack that costs 0, or we need to draw offering that costs 0 or 1. Uh, playing defend right here... I mean, we do have Metallicizer, maybe we can try to play a little bit slower. Even when we can, the, the strikes are still dealing 5 damage. Even, even with the headbutt on Whirlwind, we are not actually killing next turn. So immediately we're taking 10. And next turn, we'll probably attack another, like, 15 or something. If, we, if we're trying to rush them down with the Whirlwind. And the perfect strike is still dealing 20 damage, even when weakened. Okay, okay. That looks, uh, decent at least. Draw 3 and then upgrade or draw 5? Probably draw 5. Yeah, draw 5 is better. So I'm open first. And of course I'm going into formal strike and then we see. It's 7. 7 is a bad number, but uh, whatever. I do play this. Um, do I? Because I can also just maybe bask lead strike here that kills this. Oh, leave iron wave strike is seventeen is not enough. What 
about bashing the... Nah, it's probably still bash on the blue slaver. It's probably still bash on the blue slaver. I need to play two cards first before I play offering or I overdraw. So this is um, 10 damage. It's 16, 10... Yeah, this thing does need to... This does need to die this turn. I do this. I might not play sheep though. I do play offering here. See, do I? Do I? I can just do this. Okay, why, why do I want to play offering? Why do I want to get a minus 6? Actually, yeah, why, why do I want to, to get minus 6? No reason, right? This, this fight is only going for too long. Like, I'm not think, thinking clearly. But it uh, doesn't matter. I turn this guy dies, I take one more. Fraction cut prayer wheel. Okay, I better get some decent cards from here. Yeah, like this clash plus. Absolutely, thank you very much. Okay, uh, question card prayer will uh, surely get something in these hallway fights here. Yeah? So, what's the potion chance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we got um, 2 potions, right? Yeah, two potions. Strength potion and upgrade potion. So, 5 to 70%. Yeah, Thousand plus bird. The gambling chip is so freaking good. Maybe I want to keep the bash, but I want to draw into the, the whirlwind. And this thing is still attacking me for 6, so I do want to keep the defense. Now, not whirlwind, but there's a cliff. The armament does not matter here at all. Because if we headbutt anything in the impervious, so I can just play uh, Cliff Strike. Did I even drop here no pain turn 1? So. It's slightly sad. Uh, we have only 3 energy, yeah? So Whirlwind doesn't actually down this thing. Does that mean anything regarding where this strike goes? Because in, in this fight, I do have a feeling that you, you need to kill the bird. Uh, at least either down the bird or kill it first. In the chosen cultist fight, maybe you can ignore the cultist a little bit. But yeah, we do have the boot. Uh, yeah, I probably, I probably do strike the bird. Because uh, right now it's a 25, exactly 5 hits from the boot. Put it to 4 and then maybe we can do some offering into the whirlwind. If offering costs 1 into whirlwind, that still kills. I think if, if it's 4 hits, it's also down, so maybe not. It costs 3 though, but we can we can kill the bird here. Only if we don't play kill no pet, so we do not um, deal with, with the chosen. But we also don't need to kill the bird. Yeah, we also don't need to kill the bird. Because next time we just boot this thing once and it's dead. Ouch. Well, could be worse. Uh, could be way better, could be worse. Uh, not drawing bash in here, drawing impervious this turn. And yeah, here you see like what happens when our impervious actually miss in an advanced hallway fight. Like how miserable we actually are. And it costs 3, so I can't even play it to exhume it afterwards. Uh, otherwise, we have an, an empty turn. Discovery is probably better than just playing T-Strike, right? Because we also can sneak in the strike here. So the difference is 14 damage. And I get to play Discovery so I can maybe exhume it after. There's nothing to exhume in here, so you just emulate. Now times two, there's nothing in here. So, uh, yeah, do I start with offering or not? Quite bad for now, yeah, it is quite bad, absolutely. Especially when we are running into like, advanced hallways, after advanced hallways, after advanced hallways, with no potion, no sustain. It can get strong fast, but we can also just die like, in maybe two floors, or even this floor. We are not out of this fight yet. 
So they play offering or not? The three more cards block for three, cost on energy and six HP. <laughs> and yeah, the second is not uh, being like super super awesome either. It's probably pretty fair. Look, look at this like decently distributed, but uh, I mean our deck is also not very good for Sneko, so it feels bad. It feeling bad is like normal. Must defend, must defend text uh, thirteen, and we put bus in play. But what what does bus even do? Or will we next turn? We will weaken. I'm the offering. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, almost better than the whirlwind. Maybe we can draw into a day's block for three more. Not really. Eighteen and vulnerable. Yeah. So uh, you know what this means, guys. You know what this means. It means we die next turn and we cannot kill. Or if we don't have impervious and we draw impervious this turn. And this thing is still at 44 HP. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where you're talking about like, the average that we don't die or like whatever crap is going on here. You see like what happens in one fight where you miss impervious. Yeah, just look at this fight. One fight, one advance hallway. We miss impervious every single turn and you see what happens. So what is the line here? I mean we are not dead this turn. So we can do uh, a double strike whirlwind. That deals 10, 22, so we need 22 next turn. No vulnerable down it yet. But with the upgrade for the bullet can deal 21. This thing is dealing 20. Oh we can improve this full block this turn. And hopefully we draw exhum next turn and this to cost either 0 or 1. Ah no 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 no. We we can always upgrade for on the exhum. So if we play Impervious this turn, we are betting on drawing the Exhum next turn, or, or what? Activate, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but yeah, you see, right? because the deck is bad, we actually need to take fights. And because we need to take fights, we actually need to take uh, the bad cast to make us be able to attack the fight. So it's just like a, a very screw up situation like, all together. Watch your map here, we'll, uh, you, you should see uh, the card reverse in this one, Peter. <laughs> then then you know uh, what, what has happened so far. We we'll strike Whirlwind, hoping for 20 damage. Yeah, yeah. But that, uh, that doesn't leave us any out. Basically, there are two choices here. Either we go all in on the kill, or we hope to draw maybe Exhum, or maybe steal the kill. <laughs> I'm on four. Okay, I can I can show you. Like the these relics just arrived just now. Like they are they are not there from the start. So five strike still here for defense. Impervious peace strike uh, and then uh, some crap. <laughs> Hello, Pijot. That's why so late. Yeah, my my sleep cycle is like cycling into the <laughs> slowly cycling into the night. So the stream for like maybe the, the next week or so is. Probably around this hour, maybe push up uh, like three to four hours. Okay. Um. Basically, if we go all in on damage, yeah. If we do twenty-two this turn, and we don't draw either Emole or Peace Right and we are dead. Because we, we don't do not even have the hour of playing Exhum into Offering anymore, and next turn we always get hit uh, for lethal damage. The other line we play Impervious, and this we are dealing. 10, so we need to deal 34 next turn. 34, this is 21 when we are weakened. This is 20. And if we draw into the exhum at all, blessing the force always make it 0. So we can uh, play the impervious, survive on more turn. So one of the owls is drawing into the... Dealing 22. 
Of course, the down sign is like we take 12 immediately. If we don't play the impervious. But the upside, what about the else? 22 damage here, so this is an out. This is an out. But only if we play one more attack together with it. The other line, if we draw into Exumia, we like. How much are we being hit for next turn? Like, we are vulnerable. It's not Wiccan. The base damage is either 27, so it goes down to 39. In which case, we might not actually even die from 39. Depending on what we draw. Ah, uh, no way, right? It's it's either Exum or Death, like unless you're counting all like several of these being zero. There's like one more days in here though, maybe we can draw it into into three blocks. Yeah, we have no bone more, absolutely. We cannot kill, we cannot block, uh, our damage is slow and uh, no scaling. The, okay, the another problem yeah, with the line that's doing double strike and whirlwind right here is that even if we survive this fight and then what? We take immediately 12 damage, so we go up to go down to 3. We heal back to 9, we go up to 11. And we need to potion next turn if we don't want to emulate. So 11 HP into more advanced hallways? Actually, it's like 13. No, no, it's 11. I already counted this. 11 HP into the next advanced hallways, we already use our potion. And then what? Yeah, not really though. We play in Vivius. If we die next time, we die. Ah, we don't die. Because we play in Vivius. Well, good news for us is we get to live for one more turn. I don't know whether we are still alive next turn, but this turn we are still alive. So we exhume the Impervious, play the Impervious again, and then we can still play Cliff and Strike. Maybe even armor when we forehead. And yeah, this is not even a terrible draw, so sure. Of course, it also gives me more damage this turn. If it doesn't give me anything, it would not like to draw days though. Oof. Uh, no potion, by the way, so 80% again. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah, no potion. Ah, uh, yeah, good cut, by the way. Amazing. Ah, ectoplasm. <laughs> the, the freaking ectoplasm. Why well, skip? No, no. Uh, we can uh, always go back to the menu. Where do we die now? Lost uh, to the heart. We we die to the heart by I think four HP, maybe even three. Ah, uh, yeah, better trans plus. Uh, I mean, we probably still click it, but uh, these are not the cuts. Like, yeah, these are actually not the cuts. So it's not the plus two. Is that trends? I don't know. We nobody slam in the deck anytime we draw into impervious, it's already full block. And uh, if it's not aligning with impervious, it also needs to roll with, with cheap cost. I don't see the the thing at all. Unless you tell me we are desperate enough that we are fishing for a Mary Kit randomly. It is just better trends. It's not um, instantly building us out, but it's definitely better than skip, and it's better than this crap. Okay, uh, question crack here. We'll hopefully we don't die from 25. Hmm, not too bad. I mean, I say not too bad, but still don't have really. We don't really have damage yeah. So this fight can can wreck us. I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know. Maybe this guy attacking is better for me. <laughs> Because if it is like blocking down next turn, it just attacks. So I don't know, like you are telling me it's a high roll but impervious is right here. Or do you want to discard the impervious? <laughs> I 
Keep the block for 9 still. Yeah, 9, nine can, not, cannot be ignored in this spot. So we I do keep the impervious. <laughs> Play it for exhum value. Interesting. Because uh, exhum is also in my head. I can save the impervious for the, the head buff though. So I can play defend here into the whirlwind. Still block the same amount. Or I can just whirlwind 48 and uh, take 4 instead. But 48 also doesn't really lead to anything. But there's no damage left in the deck. And she is still healing next turn. We are frail though. Yeah, now, now this guy bash our face. And uh, what can we do? Yeah, nothing. I do play offering though. Okay, may maybe a little bit of something. So it is 6, 9, 12, it is full block. But again, we don't put any vulnerable on this, yeah. But uh, sure. <laughs> Kuro, let's go faster. I, I mean, if you're going faster, this run basically means one thing, you know. So do you really want me to go fast or not? Go, go. If I go fast, this one, it only means one thing. It means exactly one thing. That I die immediately. Not, not because I go fast, uh, I play fast, I die, yeah? But uh, the only way to go fast in this run is to, yeah, just, just end the run by dying. So do, do you actually want me to die in this one or not? But I don't want to die. <laughs> Quick iron shot, yeah. Just a relic of the past. I do not play the, the discovery. I play the discovery, I don't know. Like, probably still good. Okay, taking only 6 in here, at least assuming we take no more from this, is uh, very good. Potion. Okay, weak potion is a little bit of something. So potion change right now 70. Oof. Okay, that is a good card. Man, where the hell is my entrance? Did I literally just talk about like, if I pick the entrance, it means that uh, I'm hoping for a lucky barricade, right? For uh, a hallway fight. Where the hell is my entrance? No, really, where, where is it? Because at this moment, yeah? At this moment, we are still like, uh, pretty dead to collector. <laughs> Unless something changes, but uh, with the entrance, we have a chance. Because we have impervious into headbutt. But yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, do I take the fire? Do I take the elite or not? The elite right here is... We are running into either the bow stabbing or the leader. Against the leader with the... Um, with the uh, gambling chip, maybe we can do something. Against the book. Let's not talk about the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, let's, let's not talk about the book. And yeah, hallway fights also have uh, extra pair of wheels, right? So plus four card rewards. Yeah, both something just like uh, completely murder us, right? I mean, with, with the barricade in previous right now and the top wave, um, if we can kill in five turns, we are probably okay. If we can kill in five turns, we are okay. So can we kill the move in five turns or not? I don't know, 27 HP? Uh, probably depends a lot on uh, when we draw this shockwave and how much the impervious actually cost. What four wave fights are there? We just fought um, Chosen plus Bird and the uh, Centurion Mystic. Can't think of the Relic... Um, the same as, uh, no, no, plenty. Yeah, there, are, there are plenty of relics that uh, can bail us out. And the high... I, I guess the great card chance is low because we just saw the barricade. 
but uh, plenty, plenty of relics can <laughs> instantly build us out. Like, uh, yeah, a freaking lizard tail. A lizard tail, a petrograph, a red skull. Uh, I don't know, a boat relic, like uh, Horncrete Captain's Wheel. Yeah, like plenty. <laughs> okay, I, I do need a toilet break though. So I leave uh, you guys on this screen and then uh, I be, I'll be back in like three minutes. Then we think about the topic. Okay, so you're back in the back in a second. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, hello veteran. Oh yeah, okay. The um, the thing about this game, Link Chip and the Akabeko, yeah, is that our turn one is very strong. After turn one, we have nothing, but our turn one in particular is like strong and flexible. If we need to block for like 30 something, we can usually do that. We can maybe get into the impervious or shockwave or like whatever. If we need to deal damage and we are not being attacked, we just discard everything. That uh, doesn't say uh, zero attack. 
So turn on front load is strong, which means that the uh, advanced hallways we probably never die there. <laughs> Unless it's chosen cultist. <laughs> we we can see chosen cultist even if the uh, we saw like chosen first bird the uh, two fight one one fight ago. Because I, I think that is a different encounter, but uh, I'm not sure. Do you want a relic over cutting wood? Probably yes. If I can take the elite safely, I, I still want to do it. But um, the problem is that afterwards there's still another advanced hallway. And uh, yeah, we also need putting HP for collector. So if the reward, the, the difference in the reward is not that big. And we also like, eliminate the, the risk of getting like, completely destroyed. Because even against Wembley Leader, the only reason the first Wembley Leader fight went so well it was because we drew uh, like an absolute god. And not expect to do that every fight. So even even against the Gremlin Leader rematch like, it might not even go that well. Why is even the highest rate chance? Not that high. We literally just saw the barricade. So oh yeah, um, um, you're asking like what what is higher between the elite and the hallway? I have no idea. Because it's also with with three will end question guys like plus four. So potentially plus three commons plus three percent, at least still higher. Yeah, at least, at least still has higher red chance. Not by that much though. But yeah, if the relic breaks, uh, we just get minus one card reward. We lose more HP. We might actually even die in the fight itself because Bubu stabbing uh, probably murders us like uh, something like 30 40 percent of the time. 40 even form? Yeah, yeah, but only even form, right? Uh, I guess the second... Imp okay, feed fire is good, but not so with the collector. Uh, second impervious is good, uh, exactly the same, doesn't solve the collector. Demon form is great, absolutely amazing. Form maybe solves the collector, maybe not, but uh, it helps a lot. One of the best rares we see. We don't really care about anything else, right? I, I guess second exhum is positive, but it also doesn't really bail us out of anything. And then what? Like second barricade doesn't matter. Corruption. Wait, wait, wait. Corruption, corruption, corruption. How can I freaking forget corruption? But yeah, corruption. I don't know. Their bit is still extremely low. So of course corruption helps. Corruption helps a lot in the fight, but uh, does it actually win the fight for us? So I need corruption and something else. Maybe a spot weakness, and then I can see uh, us being good in the collector. And yeah, like the, the book of stopping will be a long fight. We cannot burst it down. There's like zero chance of us bursting it down. It needs to be four to five turns. So we need to land Impervious on one of the bigger turns. If so, if we draw Impervious on turn one and we cannot exhum it later, we are probably toast. If we bought the next shockwave, we are toast. If we bought the next barricade, we are probably toast. If our perfected strike caught three, we are toast. <laughs> okay, we go to the whole way fight. Because the. Um, we with the game and chip and uh, Akareko, I don't think we can realistically die in the whole fight. The scariest one is like Avocado Mushroom, deal 27 on turn 1. If we draw Impervious, that's already full block. The triple cut we draw Whirlwind turn 1, we kill all of them immediately. Baseball plus the... Baseball plus Sentry, you have like Barricade and one turn to set up. So, and maybe Akareko turn 1 can still kill all of them. Oh, like what, what else is there? The Snack Clan rematch. Um, yeah, okay, maybe the attack turn one we have the potential to draw either Shockwave Impervious or like whatever block. If it doesn't attack turn one, maybe it's self -merited. Chosen Cultist. Uh, yeah, doesn't exist. Move on. <laughs> and then what? Is that all the hallways? Uh, we can have Snackle rematch. Our Snackle rematch is, uh, in theory, very easy. Okay, we go to advanced hallway. And, of course, we still have these potions. If we draw, like, super badly. Okay, I, I just said that we can deal with this fight, yeah? Let's see if uh, it's actually true or not, because this hand doesn't give me confidence. Uh, we are being hit for 27 on turn 1. Maybe we can turn on but it cost 2, so probably not being played. And Impervious is nowhere to be seen yet. 
So do I toss six or do I toss seven or do I toss uh, five? I think I want to keep discovery. I think I want to dis keep discovery, but what what else do I keep? Nothing. Man. Like redrawing into the clumsy and ascenders may not really suck. But maybe we redraw into a few no pain before those. Maybe because not going to play this turn. Blessing reduce cost? No. Uh, the only upward, the only cost upward right here is barricade, and it's uh, upwarding to two, so it, it doesn't do anything here. Or six. Oh yeah. Um, this it doesn't block a lot. I can tell you. So we beat the impervious and the shock weapon turn one, and we are being attacked for twenty seven. Cool. Uh, discovery. If we discovery, we can play whatever card we discover right afterwards. Not not play, but upgrade the whatever card we discover afterwards. So any block can be upgraded. We are never dead this turn. No, not this turn at this. Ah, uh, sure, we can do that. And I guess we just armaments. Leave the Exum Plus in the deck. Exum Plus actually was an Exum Minus, yeah. I mean, about the other lines, we can also shock away when we're going to kill the, the Mushroom and then take um, 23 from the <laughs> from the aqua, Avocado. Now, that doesn't seem very nice. So, we uh. I don't discover you want to do it right now. Why though? We have no energy. Oh, you don't want to play armaments. You want to exhume discovery and play discovery right away. So that costs uh, 5 HP immediately, yeah? But um, we get to discover one more time. We cannot upgrade whatever card comes from armaments and uh, comes from second discovery. And we also lose out on 2 vulnerable to weakness. But we have a second shockwave in the deck, so the losing out on the weakness doesn't matter as much. And so uh, on average, the, the discovery is stronger than 5. On an average, the discovery is stronger than 5. And the upgrade on the single strike is not relevant at all. So that's probably good. And that's probably good. <laughs> Just kidding. So uh, it gives us 0. Uh, I mean, Twin Strike boosts our damage a little bit and works with Akabek also we take that. But uh, we are taking 90 damage this turn. You can still kill this and take 23 instead. But uh, no chance, right? We just uh, hit here. Terrible plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would also discover uh, Epervious if I'm uh, a little bit better. This game is too hard, man. Now, I mean, I did say that I would never die turn one. Uh, hmm. well, I do not like what is happening next turn. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, this thing buffing on turn two is them hitting us when we draw impervious is uh, very bad. And the potion also doesn't really bail us out. At least I have 8 HP, so I can still play Offering next turn. There is only Imbibus Clip right here, right? Playing the Battle Trans plays 4 HP immediately, and then I cannot even play the Offering anymore. So, uh, this is just Imbibus Clip uh, defend. Upgrade Potion doesn't happen yet. If Upgrade Potion comes, probably next turn. So maybe I should have played the barricade on third one. But whatever. Okay, okay, zero cost. Some zero cost in here. Uh this can be played right away, yeah. If I headbutt the whirlwind, we have lethal here. 
like whirlwind into offering into whirlwind formal strike whirlwind will kill the fear of it no no we we can we can kill this turn i'm pretty sure we can kill right like whirlwind is going to be for three we are not weakened so it's 36 36 with 13 in here is uh 49 49 plus headbutt yeah yeah we overkill here by one and this thing dies to whirlwind so shockwave headbutt the whirlwind play the offering play the formal strike kill Get out of here with 2 HP. 5 want to, to play Shockwave first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I want to kill this turn. The... Do we have... Uh, I mean, I mean, we don't... We also don't need to do that yet. Because Peace Strike... How much damage is Peace Strike? It's 27, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... With the Twin Strike, it's actually 8. So it's 30. We can vulnerable to 45. So we start with this. And then Peace Strike actually kill this immediately. And then if we draw P-Strike 1 or 2 costs, um, we can headbutt this, kill this. So we save 8, 6 HP. Offering, no, no, we might not even need to play Offering. We can throw away, because Offering also draws afterward. And we need the Offering Energy to kill with Whirlwind anyway. So we can start with Formal Strike first on the Avocado. If we draw 1, 0 or 1 cost P-Strike, 50% of the time, we can save this Offering. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, easy. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, no potion. So potion change is back to eighty percent. Depends on what. No, no. There's no. There's no risk there. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. It also depends on how much I believe it is. Potion change once again back to eighty percent. So surely this fight will draw a potion before collector. Anger. Yes, exactly what I want. Only slam power through. And the entrench. Uh, with no, we have few no pain. So if I pick this foul too, and I see a second win next floor, then uh, yeah, maybe that is a way we can block collector. Uh, but the other is also true. If I see the entrench, then body slam uh, deals with the collector force. Better the cut that is better in early turn. It's probably still body same right? because body same also gets better with armament plus in the deck as well. Upgrade to zero cost one time, especially with the okay with the upgrade potion. The upgrade potion we have one time or this time zero cost whenever we, we choose to in one fight. Yeah, that has to be better, especially when when our deck has like zero damage at the moment against collector. So oh, this is body slam and what is this like close line no way right with shockwave and the weak pot already no chance that was 2 hp right <laughs> will fall yeah I, I would be falling too if it actually gives me something good <laughs> like last floor last floor was good and yeah let's say that this fight is free uh looking at this draw is probably is free so that's good at least. HP is scary, no, it's not just that. You you need to you need to watch this run from uh, I don't know where we you should start from, maybe middle of like one. <laughs> then then you get the full story of this run. Now oh, this will be nice in the collector fight. Uh, we probably rest before collector, right? Over discovery upgrade because of, of this burning pack. Mm, not that strong. Happy blade is a little bit of damage, uh, not that relevant. I do not want to play offering here. Probably burning pack is still yeah. Burning pack is still better. We are totally guarded. And I think I get back 40 blocks. <laughs> oh, we're just playing this. Because now we still have body slam, so you one shot. Okay, blood potion, 70%. This potion is uh, actually quite a lot of HP. Oh my god, it's green with Neko. Of course we take this. But uh, again, it's overpowered through, yeah. 
Hannes minus doesn't probably doesn't cut it. Bloodletting plus. I mean, of course, it, it always gives us energy, at least energy neutral. But uh, that, that energy is energy. What we are looking for is the the real question. <laughs> With the Mary Kate, it's pretty strong. And with the body slam in the deck already with the barricade, I don't actually think I want this Carnage Minus. Carnage Plus, maybe. Yeah, Carnage Plus, maybe, but Carnage Minus doesn't, doesn't really cut it. Like, what, what does it actually do? Over 2 marks, I probably take this over 2 marks. And the, the other thing absolutely is Dual Wheel. It even comes up with it. And we are probably resting for Collector, right? The upgrade in here. The upgrade left gets worse than normal with the armament. I mean, this upgrade is still very good. But if we draw it together with the armament, that's already nothing. Uh, the piano paint upgrade is good. The pomo strike upgrade is good. The discovery upgrade is like okay. But uh, okay, this makes all of those slightly worse, and we even have less in the fossil one fight. Something okay. Something about the the discovery though is that discovery upgrade actually allow us to do some discovery into dual wheel like very often. And discovery into the dual wheel plus is uh, pretty freaking broken. I can tell you that. You discover demon form suddenly you have three demon forms for free. Any attack, any skill comes trip. Uh, no, no, any attack comes triple. Not not skills. But uh, even from body slam, uh, bludgeon, uh, whatever, they, they all we can play it right away. It's guaranteed to be zero. But we already have Exu, so in like very short fights, if we are really wanting to do that, we, we can already do that. And I am not confident into collector with. I, I guess okay, blood potion is how much. Blood Potion right now, 1 out of 4 is 20. It healed it, uh, rounds up, right? So it's 22. So we actually have 48. 48 is quite a lot, actually. <laughs> but real talk, though, if I upgrade anything into Collector, it's Shockwave. If, if I actually choose to uh, get to upgrade before the Collector, it is Shockwave. And yeah, 48? 48 is a lot. I probably just take the cast up with the, the shockwave and enter the fight because if if we draw extremely well yeah, we can even kill, kill collector turn two sometimes does it round up i would think so like healing healing rounds up no normally healing rounds up so why why would the blood potion be an exception that would be weird <laughs> but i mean the spire is weird But yeah, I mean, if it doesn't run, it's like 47, what's the... It's not that big of a difference. And yeah, like, if we draw extremely well, we can kill Collector turn 2. Crazy to think about, but it can happen. We just do, uh, like, impervious barricade turn 1 into dual wheel body slam turn 2 one shot. And in that case, I would really, 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 really like the software upgrade. Even if you have to play a long fight, that thing is probably worth uh, as much as the, the, the rest anyway. And then afterwards, it's like way better. Only slam turn one. Uh, don't think I keep this, but uh, we also miss the headbutt. Rest doesn't... yeah, rest is around rounds down, but rest is not healing in fights. It's weird. Because the Reaper rounds up, the Bice rounds up. I, I don't know, I actually have no idea. This is not the hand that one shots for later turn 2, unless I believe and keep this card, but uh, probably not. Not being able to body slam first cycle is a little bit dangerous if we cannot um, 
If you cannot keep the block, that is. Reaper doesn't round up. No, no, with vulnerable. Actually, no, 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 not the vulnerable with, with the, the magic flower. With the magic flower. Yeah, with, with magic flower, I'm pretty sure it rounds up. But I mean, uh, whatever, it's like 1 HP difference. If we die on 1 HP, I will know. But yeah, here we just thought everything, right? There's nothing in here that is worth keeping. Except maybe the defense if we draw exactly into the barricade, but that's only 5 block. And would prefer to draw into the other cards. Maybe we can even do a wheel to feel no pain. Oh, the perfect let's try. Uh, Shockwave to turn 1 and not the barricade is weird. But sometimes we have the bloodletting into whirlwind combo on turn 2. That instantly wipes everything off the board. Now they have to win the base card. I took Shining Light Act 1. And then um, we have the whirlwind. Yeah, next question. Do I play the offering here or not? Because I actually don't want to draw on the whirlwind. And keeping a... Yeah, yeah, discovery. No, no. If, if, if I play... If I play the offering, I play offering before the discovery. Because we can offer ring into... Like, Funeral Queen Barricade, for example. Or maybe I just... Uh, or maybe I'm offering into something that I would like to play over this one energy. And very easily happen. Is there a cost? How many cards do I want to draw into right now? I don't want to draw into Impervious. I don't want to draw into Whirlwind. So that's two misses. I don't want to draw into Blood Ethics. So that's three misses. I want to draw into Barricade and Funeral Queen. So two hits, three bits, um, yeah, probably not. So I, I probably just do discovery first and then we see. <laughs> dual wheel keys, right? Yeah, that, that's cute, but probably not. Unfortunately, the, the freaking dual wheel cost three here, so I cannot do dual wheel on whatever I discover. Unless, wait, 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 I can, I can, I can, I can. Yeah, yeah, if, if, I, if I get something I want to, to dual wheel, I can play offering afterwards. Okay, okay, so so we discover first. We we do discover first. Yeah, this thing. Like what what about this? No really. Suddenly we have uh, three blush and plus in our deck. If we want to do that. If, if we want to also use this potion. And it is vulnerable this turn, yeah. So this is uh actually no no, it's not. If I if I play the offering and do a wheel, I do not get to play shockwave. Ah, maybe not then, because then I also waste Akabeko. And there's still a chance to, to just do work with Akabeko next turn, kill all the minions. I mean, of course I picked this, but... Uh, I don't know, do I play this or not? Because I have a feeling, okay, 60 damage is a lot, but uh, if we cannot kill the minion, then things are also bad, you know. Well, yeah, of course, of course, I play Shockwave this turn. I'm just wondering, do I play Offering first, and why? Why does anything else follow? It's only seven out of seventeen. Only for later, just that it's uh, 192. So no, no, it's, it's more than 190, 89, 189. So she's at 111 still. Uh, minus a little bit from Akabeko. So something like uh, 99. 99 HP, we still have Impervious in the deck. Actually, no, no, it's, it's not. We, we don't have Vulnerable here. We don't have Vulnerable here. If we do a wheel, we don't really have Vulnerable. So it's like a lot less uh, damage. My potion draws now. Okay, okay. Yeah, not playing Shockwave here seems really bad. But uh, yeah, if we do a wheel without Shockwave, then first of all, she's not uh, weakened. And we deal in total 134 with no Akabeko next turn. So she's still at the... Um... We can survive next two turns though, always, with the Impervious and the Blood Potion. 
But we can no longer kill with the whirlwind. But uh, if we want to kill with whirlwind, we also need to draw it next turn. Yeah, yeah, it's just good. It's just good. We have three plus and plus. Because we can still cover for goodness with this potion. With all that thing, how much damage is over 200? It's a lot. Yeah, we do play barricade. Um, if I play the battle trench right now, I have no hand space to 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 do with the the bludgeon. I think I can play battle trench first and then play the barricade, and then I have hand space for two bludgeons afterward. If I draw into the um, impervious, I maybe can play that instead, and then keep the, my potion, keep my upgrade potion, and do the world win next turn. I think it's all pretty good. I play better dress first, and then see you again. I mean, we can also change our plan. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we need to barricade before upgrade. Oh, it goes to two cost. Don't worry, I know that. We can, we can also change our plan right here immediately, you know. Like, we play barricade and do it with the funeral pain plus instead. What about that? Oh, we don't even upgrade and do it with the funeral pain minus. And then suddenly we have nine block already. Some waves not down, but this thing blocks a lot, and then we can exhume the impervious. Ah, greeting with the upgrade potion seems a uh, freaking weird, right? Yeah, probably not. So we just do uh, barricade into upgrade potion into fear no pain plus into do with the bludgeon and just uh, blast her. So uh, this is uh, too much damage to, to not do, yeah. So of course we do it. And we have four block with it. <laughs> and we don't even draw into the the whirlwind anyway. What do we have if whirlwind uh, thing next turn? I mean we can have it this turn if we want. We do armaments into the exhum zero cost and exhum offering, or we probably just exhum discovery though. So I'm moving it here into playing Exhum, into Exhum Discovery, play Discovery, block with Fear No Pain, and then see what happens. Next time we have full block with the uh, Impervious Plus. Upper cut uh, doesn't actually do much. This thing give us one strength. Uh, not much else though. We can do Inferno Blade for four more blocks. We just get upper cut, right? Upper cut is also a wood redraw. Uh, next turn, I have no idea what this costs. We will play this. So, how much do we need to kill minions really? We triple bludgeon, and next time we do play a little bit of whirlwind. Let's go all in on the collector, right? Cannot die this turn. It costs zero. That's excellent. This cost thing zero as well is very good. The food. Unfortunately, that I think costs three. Currently, we are facing uh, three damage. So if I play the iron wave instead, then we are taking zero. But uh, probably not. Yeah, we triple budget here. We don't we need to retain block at all for the barrier slam. We just kill with this. Taking three, whatever, we save uh, our potion. But then three costs. I think trail is a little bit um, too much. Shockwave is still in here, Double Bludgeon is still in here, Blood Potion is still in here. I don't want to take this, uh, this 3 damage. This 3 damage. I don't want to take it. I probably just block. 
So Abomin's defend body slam kill this next turn we end the, the collector with these two. She's still vulnerable. I'm a, I'm a defense slam on this is probably just it. We we don't slam collector though. So we can still block for next turn even if we cannot kill. If she re summons we also can easily do it. <laughs> Bottom decking both blush it. Very cool. Not like it matters though, we, we easily block this hit. And now we draw 3 bludgeons next turn, surely she's dead. Yeah, we draw 3 bludgeons and she's dead. Okay, actually got out of this uh, absolute garbage act uh, No potion, by the way. 90%. Oh, the freaking potion belt, man. We got potion belt for 10. We farm every single fight in uh, after 410 in Act 1. We do not go to a single event in Act 2. And our potion bell is not cool. Interesting. Okay, we definitely pick one of these. I thought, yeah, yeah, I got, I got Black Pot. I got a uh, 3 potion in this entire act. Like the upgrade potion. Actually, no, I got 4 potions. So maybe it's lower than the 90. Actually, yeah, I got 4 potions in this entire act, so how many fights? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 4, 8, 4, 70 percent here, 70, so now it's 80, not 90. So we missed a 70 percent roll here. Uh, well, yeah, demon form, right, because it's auto battle with the, the dual wheel. Second barricade um, basically is going all in there, but it makes the, the duo wheel weaker. And drawing, how important is drawing the barricade earlier? I mean, it's pretty good, but we also have a lot of max HP with trail wheel question cards, and maybe we can see Reaper. If we see Reaper with the duo wheel in the demon form, uh, that's like insane. Yeah, we just click the, the, the demon form. Yes, pure bit. We are Sneko. Uh, copy Dripper? A little bit scary. We don't actually have a real sustain. We have a little bit of sustain here, a little bit of sustain here, but... Resting is also a lot stronger when our max HP is going to be like 100. But we have a Blood Potion already. And on the other hand, we have nothing to mitigate the Philo Stone. The Barricade also stick against the Philo Stone. The Body Stand stick against the Philo Stone. We have no Disarm, no Tori... No, nothing. So, uh, and is it No, no, not only that. This is unthinkable. We have Sneko, the boss is not here, bit. Oh, yeah, just refer. Awaken one. Can be a little bit weird. But, uh, I don't know. We have the entire act to get stronger. Three elites on the right side, we can go to early shop. So, that's not too bad. We have nothing that speaks for question mark and a lot of things that speaks for fights. So I would like to yeah, take all the fights. Instead of early question mark here. Normality they don't take. So we just take three three fights, right? Unless you tell me advanced hallway is a problem. So so uh, can can advanced always be a problem or not? Because if advanced always are a problem, then maybe we want to fight one after the shop, not before. Probably not, right? We the the part of this act probably I'm looking at this three fights in here into the shop into this is fourth, fourth until here and then from here depending on this question mark quality we can decide on this this or this. All three are viable, and once again here we have premium upgrades we go here. I think at the very least I want to upgrade demon form. So um, one fire is dedicated to that one fire is recalling. But nothing else in the deck is like in urgent need of an upgrade. But we also see a lot more card reverse in this side. Yeah, but if we if we are scale a vast hallways and of walkers in here, we cannot even take. So uh, why bother, right? If we cannot take of walkers, then then what event are we looking for? Only my blue. Oh yeah, we just take the fight. Uh, this four energy, that's perfect. If we draw to whirlwind, we can kill immediately. Yeah, 
can still kill immediately with whirlwind so i don't really waste it on the strike and uh we have um okay no no more exu <laughs> okay this turn i probably don't wait anymore because we are actually taking real damage if i don't if i don't hit just kill this And we have like demon form in play already, so no potion fifty. Uh, way too late, yeah. We already have demon form. We are never interested in uh, leaning towards this free strike anymore, especially with like barricade body slam. And of course, it's up against plus two. This two will is minus. Uh, probably not. Dual wheel is neck is strong, but uh, at the moment there's also not a lot of targets to do a wheel in our deck. There's like discovery, there's like a demon form, and then that's it. And of course this one's not green. Hello Doran? Oh the run's going well, cannot take a No no no, I'm, I'm saying that um, I won advanced hallway fights, we play a wheel question card. And I, I want hallway fights. And the only consideration to not go this way is that we are scared of advanced hallways here. But if I am scared of advanced hallways, then there's no way I can take off walkers. And if that's the case, then there's also no reason to go here either. So uh, might as well just go here. But this run has been has not been good. You you can quest back to run from like maybe middle of like one and the entire act two. This uh, this act two was like very rough. But for now we are alive and uh, it's looking upwards. Formo with a Stekko and up against plus 2, no way, right? It's not even Formo plus. We just take plus 4 here. And yeah, every fight is also a, a freaking feed plus. Uh, yeah, Discovery also doesn't need to be kept. Oh, wait a second. Should I have picked the feed over Demon Form? No chance, right? We have a dual wheel, we have barricade, and we have the armament. So with the feet, any fight where we can store is plus 4 per enemy. But no way. Like we are not nearly strong enough for to do, do that. How do you think hoping to see if we will catch a card? Mm, Reaper would be pretty sick. Another impervious, a corruption. Uh, Entrench with the uh, barricade. Plenty of things, like uh, a lot of things that would snack for. Uh, a blasted that I would maybe also take. But yeah, there, there are a lot of broken cards you can see. Killing damage, guys. And there's nothing to, to do here, so we just get out immediately. No potion, 60%, so so plus. Yeah, okay, cool. Armament plus. Uh... Uh, I mean, it's almost cute, but probably not. So so plus with. Just got here to ram up and see the trickly, yeah. I recommend watching the actual of this run, though, if you, if you have the time. Uh, yeah, I mean, because actually when this one was like... I would say it's like a massive high roll in the first few fights, followed by the expected roll, and then it was miserable. Yeah, okay, might would be good, yes. Formal would be nice. Formal minus, though. Oh, Formal minus, not really, right? Especially when it's also up against the, the server so plus in here. And I don't even know where they are picking Server Soul Plus. Server Soul is nice with the uh, Barricade and the... Uh, it's actually good with Barricade and the Funeral Pain. Because with Neko, we play one card and then we block for like a lot. <laughs> okay, it's Discount Second Win. That's basically it. <laughs> it's Discount Second Win. But uh, I, I mean, we probably don't need it. Right? We turn him in form now. In what fight do we need to fight load damage from this Server Soul? Because in Retomancer, in Retomancer, our damage is mainly whirlwind demon form. In Zion Head, the uh, server soul doesn't solve a thing. And in Nemesis, I guess Nemesis is good. Yeah, server soul is good in Nemesis. 
But uh, into a weapon one, we want server so enough, right? Because I have feeling the answer is no. And yeah, of course, it's also up against plus two. I think there's probably another first. I don't know. I, I think I picked the other one, so. This upgrade is good, this upgrade is excellent. Yeah, lighting, lighting up with these two is already excellent. This upgrade is nice for now, and maybe with two armaments, I also can lost the fire here or here and go to one more fire or the question mark. If I know we'll feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of if anything has synergy with the peace strike, but you just redraw the peace strike over and over and over. This one's plus two. Uh, one cost armament probably still not good enough. Before I actually see what I draw into. I'm as good at defense with barricade. It's like okay. Mainly because we, we have like good, uh, very still some very strong upgrades, and even these upgrades are not wasted with the uh, barricade. Drawing Exhum before the the thing. Uh, we can I can play the the offering here. Maybe I do offering first because not drawing into the so the wasting the Exhum yeah and not drawing into the barricade on turn one is uh pretty dangerous here. Not drawing into shockwave either. Okay, yes, shockwave. So I do play demon form and then I guess we can maybe headbutt the armaments, I don't know. I mean I can exhume the offering and continue, but probably not. We can also not headbutt anything. That way it's like a little bit of damage, but uh, I guess slightly improves our draw quality next turn. Because what what is actually good in here to draw next turn, right? Like, I don't see anything. I want to draw into Impervious or Barricade next turn or like whatever. Exum Offering, the thing about Exum Offering is now it no longer is free. It's energy neutral and it cost me 6 HP immediately. Probably not. If I, yeah, if I uh, headbutt anything, it's Armor Win Plus. But I don't even want to draw Armor Win Plus. I want to draw into this. I think I can exhume whirlwind. I exhume whirlwind next turn have 10, 15, 60 damage only. That's not nearly enough. But I also need to kill this thing though. 13 damage, uh, not that relevant as 13. Okay, Burbius is here, but not the uh, barricade and no dual wheel yet. And we waste the bloodletting turn, so that's not very good. I do play this. Really now. And I don't even get the dual wheel to dual wheel my metallicize. I was actually counting on that a little bit. I need to deal with the next turn. And uh in purpose over piano pain, yeah sure. I could have thought more before playing armaments, I guess, but... You got the, the, the Fear of Pain also doesn't do that much after the, after this turn. <laughs> yeah, like Ryan doesn't even do anything. Uh, 8 here and then kill this turn. No potion. Uh, 70% now. Can I, can I really not get potions in this one so what? Like 3x and it's uh, exactly the same for all 3. But yeah, after 3 fights we are now at 70% again. Okay, this one I don't take. Snake Barrier, yeah, sure. Uh, two cards with Snake Core, block with Barricade. Struck is also reasonable. 
But the barrier has a better upgrade. And better upgrade actually matters a little bit with the armaments in the deck now. This one... Not really, right? Double tap is just worth the wall wheel. And I do actually do not need a third armament. And this is false. Uh, that's an evil. If I would like to do that, there's a souvenir pretty cheap. Uh, it does get cancelled by the battle trends, but otherwise, blocking vulnerable in the heart is actually a pretty big deal. And maybe it opens up a speed potion. There's also no second shot in this run, uh, in this act. So if I do not see gold here and I spend all my gold in this shop, how much gold do I have? Here it is, 90. And then let's assume I take uh, one upgrade on even form and then all fights. So one, two, three fights. Three fights, 45, 135. 135 swap with it? No, no, not, not to have demon form. I no longer need the swap with it. <laughs> I mean, I say that we do have to deal with a wicked one like, at some point, but uh, not yet. And the, the thing cost me freaking uh, 80 something gold. With a potion bell, the gold is very valuable in Act 4 as well. We can just buy three potions. But uh, remove is stronger. Re remove is pretty decent at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it's time to freaking get the strike out of the deck, right? Even with the P-Strike Plus. So I can see just doing... Just doing like souvenir remove. With 59 gold left and we have 135. We still have 192. So we can buy relic or we can still buy 3 potions at 4 shop. Or I cannot remove, keep my strike to get, keep the P-Strike like... Uh, Somewhat reasonable, and then buy the evolve instead. But in a in our deck right now, there's nothing that actually has synergy with evo. We will not pick the second evo, and we are seeing like a lot more card rewards. So I I also don't see wasting on this evo either. We have one more fight before burning lead, so uh, no need to rush to buy potions yet. Okay, remove the shrine and get out of here. <laughs> Manage up like Zoom Reaper, I mean, that's cute, but, uh, and it actually works, uh, decently. Because we do have the armaments. So we can heal, like, 12, uh, yeah, we heal 12 per, per fight with this, potentially. But we already have the Blood Potion to cover a little bit for that. Oh, thank you very much. Minus 5. Holy crap, minus 5. Uh, I actually do not take the, the, the curse here. If we have Nubu Do already, then I would actually take the curse. We have a... Uh, free strength in it. The Sneko event, yes, the madness, exactly what we need. Madness low, high attack or it does not persist. Madness is on the worst thing you can pick up when, when you're doing Sneko. You still pick it up sometimes though, with something like a, a hologram. But uh, yeah, whenever you draw it, it gets free roll. So you pay 17 HP up front for 2 curses, because the madness can also roll 3, and then do you play madness or do you not play madness? Oh, oh that's interesting. Demon form is not plus, so I am looping um, in previous plus, right? If demon form is plus, I do demon form. But demon form is not plus. So I just, uh, just duplicate this. <laughs> it's stronger than a shockwave plus. Like, you, you cannot tell me with body slam in the deck and barricade that the uh, shockwave or the demon form minus is stronger than this. Like, no way. Okay, that's a good event. That's a, that's a very good event, actually. Where's I train? Yeah, this floor. Don't worry. Like, like, no worries, like, the entrance is this floor. Just need to be deep.
Easy clumsy noob. Yes, exactly what we what we want to do. Clumsy. But for blood miners, not really. That is not a trend. And it's actually pretty cute, yeah? With the dual wheel and the barricade, but once again, it makes uh, this fight worse. And I don't know how, how much we can actually afford to make that fight worse, because I have a feeling that's already one of the worst fights in this run. So even if it's green, probably not. Besides, the awakened one is good for basically every other fight. It's positive. Also heavy blade, heavy it minus absolutely not. But for blood uh, minus also not right. <laughs> Hello MJ. Yeah, you you miss a, a pretty spicy actual. Now now we are not out of the woods yet, but uh, it looks a uh, a lot uh, better than what would whatever the hell we were doing in actual. But the uh, actual of this one was rough. Better than two positive and awakened one. I mean, it's not that wrong. Uh, it's close actually, because with the barricade, yeah, in three turns we actually gain uh, twelve block for the metallic size, but we only get hit for eight plus two plus two. So uh, actually, it's neutral. In in after the barricade comes down, but that's assuming we even play the barricade. <laughs> yeah, do we play barricade? I guess that no, our deck just suck. Our deck, our deck suck completely even when we went to all fights. Snackle was uh, neutral, actually insanely good in the first half of the act, which is why we, we are barely alive to farm all the hallways. Yeah, but our deck just suck completely and then we have an empty potion bear with potions never drop. Yeah, and the shop suck. We went to three shops in. Uh, we went to three shots in the, the entire run. Okay, four shots now. But three shots in Act 1 and Act 2, and uh, we bought a Blood Vial and a Discovery. Basically, we got in Act 1 Akabeko, or... yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm also not unhappy about this Blood Vial, blood vial buy, by the way, looking at how Act 2 went. Potion Bell is good, yeah, when we actually have a full Bell. If potions never drop, this thing is worthless. But I don't know, potion is pretty high right now, and then we maybe we can save some. Yeah, it's probably just plus four. This fight is not easy, but we draw um, barricade turn one. I think I keep here no pain though. If I do not draw into something like extremely important right now, I would play this field no pain. Okay, that's very good. You yeah, need to kill this thing somehow, yeah? He's right now. We pick peace right on uh, the first floor. Never, never actually saw the second copy until Act 3, but we also do, did not lean heavily towards this. And we are we are we are getting a little bit. Uh, I think it's a little uh, to bit root right now, but it's fine. Top wave over second impervious, right? Then we still have this thing in the deck, and we have a uh, demon form building up already. This guy is really doing burn 45, burn 45, yeah? <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, we missed the body slam turn as well, so next time we lose our little bit of damage, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We can shuffle immediately, though. Oh, we have to put. Oh my god, this guy is done for. And we sent second win very early in that one. And we, are, we were fighting Guardian, so uh, it was never a thing.
Is that done for? I get the power of the boot. Uh, discover first. Dark Embrace doesn't really do anything, right? So, just get this. Where is that? Okay, Awaken one uh, a little bit better. I am considering not picking up this Weststone, but uh, I don't know whether that's crazy or not, but I am. <laughs> because this is very bad, and the other hits, like, how, how relevant are those? Like, these are irrelevant. This is actually relevant, but just a little bit. This is good. This is okay. And these things are whatever. And the more they up with is terrible. <laughs> so... Okay, how, how bad is it? Uh, ignore this, yeah? So like, one hit, two hits, three hits, and one miss. Ah, uh, it's probably still good. And I, I guess, okay, the thing uh, is that even the Clipper Wiz maybe is not that bad into like, Awaken 1 and Retromancer, so... Uh... It's, it's... <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the, another reason just that keeping this feels very magical. Like, I want to click, pick it up. But then uh, it upgrades body slam and I cry. And the upside, yeah, yeah, it upgrades my body slam. So now I can no longer armaments into zero cost body slam guarantee. And only the body slam, right? everything else is uh, at the very least a small positive. Or a big positive. Okay, whatever. Yeah, now, now it decides to not hit two strides, yeah? Now is the time it decides that, yeah, yeah, I have had enough. So I cannot hit two strikes here. Very cool. At least clip his screen. Yeah, let's clip his screen, guys. And that's why I tell to, that's why I say to, to keep myself up at night. No, no, not keep myself up, to sleep at night. That's wrong. But yeah, do I do a wheel the demon form? Do I do a wheel the feel no pain here? If I do a wheel the feel no pain, next turn even if I don't draw into AOE damage to, to wipe all of them off the map, I can still play Elixir on a bunch of cards to block for 60. And dual wielding the feel no pain immediately blocks for 6 more. And of course, I can also play this strike right here on one of these two. But I can also save the Dark Abaco. But yeah, the scary thing about this is that I have no actual Bewa Potion next turn. Besides the Elixir, which is why I, I probably just want to do with the Fear No Pain. I keep Dark Abaco though. I probably keep Dark Abaco because Steve is still in here. <laughs> we can also not play even form. I don't even know whether I can play Exum this spot or not, but probably not. And I keep Akabeko, right? Because it doesn't even kill one of these, so who really cares? <laughs> and she always attack next turn anyway. Okay, we'll win here. That's good. Um, I can steal Elixir to do something, but Elixir is still the is still it. Yeah. Like we can we can do exactly the same thing in a later fight. And this option actually is very good in the weapon one fight. So maybe I just want to spend like let's say a block for blood potion for example in in this on this turn. Doing something like discovery block for 9, maybe discover some exhaust block for another 9, and then take this damage, whatever, and heal back up with the blood potion or the regen. Yeah, let's play this first one. This always happens. That doesn't do anything. Uh, none of these exhausts as well, so we don't even get more block with the funeral pain. I guess more slams the best out of these. And wave is also zero. Um, I don't play barricade though. I don't play barricade if I actually want to kill all of these. 
And sure, I guess uh, we don't play barricade then. Because um, she's also like dead pretty soon. And we can also headbutt something. Probably flame barrier, right? What potion do I use? Uh, regen potion is stronger if you see another regen potion. Blood potion can be used no matter what. And I don't know, maybe this thing also gives us like eternal feather, pentograph, or whatever, then we don't we even keep the potion. So no reason to potion anything yet, right? And then I can just do a headbutt on the... Yeah, probably the flame barrier. Shockwave is still in the deck, no need to do the bash. <laughs> I would love to have headbutt the barricade, actually. But whatever, doesn't matter too much. Maybe with two impervious, it's okay to headbutt the body stack or even the dual guild plus. Dual guild plus doesn't land on too many good things in here though. Ah, maybe body stamp is okay. Maybe body stamp is okay. It's body stamp minus because this one's from the discovery. So we can actually do the upgrade in here and we have two impervious plus still. Oh, exactly, guys. Oh, that's very good. That's uh, plus 60 damage right here. For free. Next time we have Wicked, though. And we have not drawn to Shockwave yet, but we can always draw for this turn. And yeah, Shockwave can at most cost free. We do not play Offering this fight. Or summoning? Yeah. Or not summoning is good. It's also dead next time. Anchor, no potion. So one potion drop in... Was it one or two? One, two, three. No, this is 70. This side drop a potion. This side drop another potion. No, no, this side does drop a potion. So one potion drop in one, two, three, four, five fights. No, no, this side drop a potion. Okay. Two, one potion, two potion drops in six fights, which is uh, sixty. More dual wheel is dual wheel minus though. Apple cut minus. Um, it's almost okay, but I don't really want it. One shockwave is not enough, but we can also exhume the shockwave. And we have the um, weak potion still. It's probably still plus two. Uh, no reason to. I mean, going to the five right now just to upgrade demon four. I guess upgrade demon demon four before potential giant head is also cool. Yeah, giant giant head is not that easy. I would pick a, honestly though. I would pick a close line. I would, I would not, no, no, upgrade, upgrade, I, I would definitely go here before I spend the upgrade on uppercut. The, I think the demon for upgrade is worth a lot, but the, the, the uppercut upgrade is absolutely not worth more than uh, one question cut for your wheel go away fight. Okay, never see giant head. Uh, dual wheel metallicized cannot be played anyway. So do I even keep the dual wheel? No reason to, right? So I do also discard the dual wheel. So where is the main giant hand? It depends a lot on, on draw order and the attack pattern as well. Because it, on average, I think the fight is fine. Even if we cannot play this uh, demon form with the uh, barricade double impervious and we can retain some luck and then we body slam. <laughs> but okay, this morning stamp is not guaranteed to be zero anymore. But I keep Metal Minus because I want to play Metal Minus in this fight. Like, you, you think this fight is so fast or what? I don't really, do, do you really think this fight is that fast? And yeah, it's no longer Metal Minus, it's Metal uh, Metallic Size Plus now. 
Penny 2, but Rex Akabeko. Akabeko doesn't matter next one anyway, so probably just here. What about Regen Potion now? Uh, probably not, right? Because yeah, uh, once again, stacking Regen Potion potential is like just much stronger. And Blood Potion can always... Uh, Blood Potion is much stronger than Regen Potion. Uh, if, we, if we get more max actually, which we will. So yeah, whatever. Like hedging for the, the double regen is probably also stupid. This is an uncommon potion. And potion chance right now 60, so making more slots is like fine. And headbutt the uh, something, maybe the barrier plus. Do this first. The boot. This arm or impervious. Uh all are good. Probably this is the best. So not take any more damage here, even if he decides to like 45 us now. <laughs> Interesting hand. But I died next turn, yeah. We have 14 strength now, even if it's not vulnerable. No potion, uh, 70%. I think we versus Formal Strike plus. The good thing about the second win is that it opens up Power Through immediately. And I would love to pick Power Through second win in this deck. And in the in the late game, it's already better than usual. When things shuffle, like some, some garbage in. Time meter shuffling in slams, we cannot exhaust because slams also get... Uh, <laughs> Slam also gets re-rolling in cost. The deck is just a good card. Homo plus with Sneko that is slightly less effective. And yeah, if we if we got to exhaust some power in Awaken one, the second win just plays. And we might. And yeah, of course I, I go here, yeah. Now that we have second win, I would actually want to look for a power through. One thing's positive, and I think it's kind of free. Don't need this. And, uh... Doing anything right next time we play one card we'll win uh, and then immortal to nine perfect that one can be a little bit scary but yeah just a spam okay fear for so put your chance to now 60 this motion actually is not too bad. This is our shockwave, by the way. Yeah? Fear pot and uh, weak pot. We don't have a second shockwave. We can shockwave the heart with this. Jacques or not? Yes, exactly what we are looking for. It's plus. I have to detect that. Uh, Jacques or not? No way, right? We already have the body slam. And the, the demon form plus. So it's not the plus two. Fear strike plus is cute. But it's just that. It's cute and nothing else. Hello, Saibi. The mall. Why do we discard all of these? Like, I don't even care about this irrelevant damage. Maybe Metallic Sight can be kept, but this costs two and not one, so no. Oh, yeah, we have the, the thing. What does this block? This block a uh, free or quick. Actually, I have no idea what it blocks in in this fight, but I guess you'll find out. Can play the battle chance first to do demon form, but whatever. 
Because they can also just do this. Okay, it blocks weak and not frail. Any complete opinion? I'm quite boss quack. I haven't seen you do it. No. At the moment, uh, anything I can say is just theory. I mean, eventually somebody will do I'm quite boss quack. Might be me, might be with somebody else, but uh, I hope it's not me. Then then we can see uh, kind of like the, the silent run I did. To see where the, the run fails. And when it actually is strong, like when, when the compromise of the starter relic does not actually matter. Like what map is, is it? I mean of course I have some ideas but I cannot, uh, I, I don't know yet because I have not played enough runs with it. Uh, do we have to doesn't do anything here? But we can just do this. Let's do this first. In fire. Not even for me to play, no vulnerable. I can just do this. And headbutt, the. Um, that's only never attacks when we don't have barricade in play yet, so headbutting impervious doesn't make a lot of sense. Honestly, probably just headbutt the software. Uh, no, not software, but the uh, whirlwind. But we are not wicked, and we also are dealing uh, 6 strength here. Yeah, not six strength, I guess. Uh, not not no, not that much damage, I guess. Zero. Also doesn't matter. Nice block. We are burning back. Feels so bad. I mean, it feels bad, but is that really? Is it that bad? I mean, I know that it will cost you probably one floor next one. At least one floor. Potentially even on elite, so like it's like one elite and on floor. Trading for a boss relic. But in from actual onwards, I have no idea what actually it actually costs you. And of course the um, some of the squads are also like just terrible. I got way weaker and that's a problem for Kaji, yeah. I don't know about way weaker though. I know that it makes it weaker for sure, but is it really that bad? Because if you swap into any energy that's not like Master Crown or something, like, it's still okay, you know. It, although it makes you stronger. In one single fight. Like, like in the if, if you're only facing uh, the elites, then uh, the boss swap saves you way more HP compared to the burning blood. Uh, we are not quicken, so body slam can kill, and then I have the bottle set up for this fight. I mean, I hope I can kill with one card. Okay, I did not lose the math, but it worked out to absolutely correct play. Continue sample after TI. Uh, yeah, if I'm not done with 50 here, then sure, I will finish it uh, after I, I come back. A drop kick plus, yes. Drop plus, ooh, blushing. Ooh, we, we, we actually get to choose like, right here. Like, do we want damage or do we want uh, a block? This is uh, just uh, HP, yeah? <laughs> Man, the struggle of this will come green, you know? If the struggle is not green, it's probably not the... Uh, it's probably the, the bloodshed, but the struggle is green. And yeah, it's true that we already have Demon Form and the Body Slam. But um, without the Entrench, without the Power Through to do with Second Win, our block is not... We, we are not generating that much block in the hard fight. Bludgeon is another dual target. target, is another thing. And the TI, yeah. I'm going to fly to Singapore uh, like 19 or October. Because at the moment, I guess the Waken 1 Shock is better. I mean, what fight is Bludgeon better? The um, time it doesn't matter. We double this arm, we play Demon Form, then we, we slowly win. What is Act 4 up with? At the moment, with the second disarm, already is never disarm. 
Uh, probably feel no pain. Yeah, probably feel no pain because we are also saving the elixir to gain a, a big burst of luck. But yeah, I'm not thinking about a scenario where we actually cannot um, generate enough luck against the heart. In first second cycle, we lose all the luck and then body stamp deals no damage. So body stamp deals no damage, we are barely blocking enough. Demon form is in play but vulnerable so runs out slowly and then we, we no longer deal damage. And the dual wheel has uh, its a death card. Is it Bloodshed? I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But uh, the upgrade also is unnecessary a lot of times because you have two armor first in the deck. And yeah, against Echo Elite, the, the Bloodshed is actually better than the Shrug. Against the Heart is at least comparable. <laughs> okay, so it is that X4 we, we see a change in the shop. But okay, 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 the Wicked Knight, I don't even want to play Demon Form. But I also don't need the Bludgeon to, to do that. If anything, the Shock has to be to do that more than the Bludgeon. Because I just Shock, uh, do some second win, uh, play Barrier Plus or whatever, and then I play a Body Slam. <laughs> we don't have Pentograph or anything, but we can Potion the Act 4 Elites. I mean, nothing matters. Does nothing matter? We don't have a new potion. Like, how can you guarantee that you draw and change at the correct time? Because if we draw and change at the wrong time and we don't have a new potion, it doesn't win the fight on the spot. Okay, tell you what, I need another toilet break, so I leave. Uh, I leave you guys on this screen, and uh, I'll be back in like three minutes, and I think more about this.
Okay. So, um... Yeah, actually boss Gowlet the Bludgeon doesn't really do anything, right? I mean, not that it doesn't do anything, but we don't need it to win. The stock will, will help preserve some HP, and if possible, I do not want to use the Blood Potion even early Act 4. The disposable potion in our belt right now is the Fear Potion. So, um... The only question is whether the Bludgeon actually helps in Act 4 or not. And I said that the scenario of scale of is the hard running. We run out of block against the hard. We basically play impervious, so we never build up block, so our body stamp deals no damage. But um, something about that is that we have souvenir. We have souvenir and the weak pop, so first cycle we do not need to play any impervious. <laughs> Insurance kill equipment 1 million swiftly, this last play. We have the Akabeko potential war winner. It's probably still good, yes. But we also have a, a clip in our deck with uh, yeah, Akabeko will win. If we draw it, turn 1 or turn 2 or whatever, it dies. The Bludgeon 5, yeah, yeah. So that is when we, before we had even form. No? And our deck is also much weaker at that time. Yeah, yeah, Act 4 Elites. Um... We don't have Preserve Insect. But the, the, only, the only way to actually kill the Act 4 Elites super quickly, uh, there are two ways. Number one is that we uh, do a huge body slam. Oh, number two is that we do a will this plus check. But of course, that means we need to draw dual will together with it. Slightly more likely than usual with the uh, gambling chip. But if it costs high, it also cannot play. <laughs> and uh, against the hard, we can also save the impervious. We don't need to impervious first cycle at all because first cycle multi is doing what? 1 times 15 if we don't even draw this up. If we draw this up, it's dealing 0. Big is dealing 33, and we have a 100 HP max with the Blood Potion. If we can set the Impervious and... It, okay, so basically whenever we can do a with the Demon form, the Bludgeon is irrelevant. If we cannot do a with the Demon form, the Bludgeon is relevant if we can also not rely on the Body Slap. And of course, it's also not not upgraded. That's a minor minor issue, but it is still an issue. Yeah, sure, it's just better. Right? Sure, it's just better. Like picking Russian, this one probably just getting better by yellow and Snackle. I mean, it's good, but uh, it doesn't. It basically doesn't help us in more situations than this shot. And have can do with the blood and the form is irrelevant. Why is that? Because every single time I draw into blood and it also gets rerolled by Snake Coil, you know. Instead, when I when I have demon form in play, I can play whatever attack and it still deals around the same amount of damage. And yeah, do you really even one uh, three blood in your deck against a hard like always? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Attack potion, probably not over this. Maybe you can say attack over fear in uh, this fight, but probably not. Because if we have nothing better in Echo Shop, or we have an OP relic, maybe an Orary with like question card, uh, singing bow, then we can keep this potion. So minus three block one card really just relevant? Yeah, yeah, why not? Three block is three block. Like if you're you're playing to save that one HP every every line, then why would three block be uh, irrelevant? Three block is uh, four to five damage and uh, cost three HP. That's why anchor in this fight. So third one we can just go win a Kabeko. If we draw into it, and keep this. Okay, I guess we don't draw into it. Can still do it next turn. Uh, but maybe... 
I mean, also don't don't. It's not like we are dealing no damage this turn either, but uh, it's not that much. <laughs> I'm wondering what I had from here. Like the barrier is like, okay. The VS plus is guaranteed full block, but we got full block on three and not turn two, which is pretty bad by the way. That uh, we draw both impervious on turn one with no barricade. I with two design we do play barricade in this fight. We play some powers. I don't know how many, but we do play some powers. Not playing this just to keep Akabeko as floating how much damage is uh, 17 plus 12 is 29 damage. Twenty nine. If we don't draw into whirlwind, then we only gain eight. That sounds pretty fishy. Yeah, that, that definitely does sound pretty fishy. <laughs> Next one is like six six twenty two, so it's not even good for the previous yet. To get back the barrier because if I draw upgrade plus next and I play it, then the the upgrading the barrier is also good. Advance the, the ink also. I can do a wheel of sweep instead. Maybe that is how we kill this. That's pretty sad by the way, because then we have like three three cliffs uh, floating around. Uh but yeah, once again Bludgeon does not help yet. We have not even drawn into the shrug or the bludgeon, so like the card is irrelevant here. I don't want to kill, yeah, BD. I also don't want to kill. But uh, if we are not doing that, then what, what are we doing this turn? Because uh, if next turn this guy is not dead, uh, we deal, we take another 11 damage, and this guy is hitting us for 40 already. Each right times three, I mean it's stronger than the three clips for sure, but uh, this turn we cannot play them all, which is already a fairly big minus. Do we clip, play barrier, play two clips, kill this and leave this to 29. Which is actually bad because we cannot kill it with 29 next turn. So is it actually fear pot here for example? Is it is it ever uh, fear portal left and do with the cliff then try to kill it next turn? But this right, Kelty one you want to take this full twenty two. Why for whirlwind? Yeah, what happens when you don't get whirlwind? Then? Because next turn we are being hit for sixty two damage. Do like you want to play or what? Because uh, none of the potions actually bear us out instantly. Yeah. And it looks like the fear port is disposable, so wait, you just do that. Effectively, I'm using the fear port right now to block for 12. Because the, yeah, the, the difference between fear port and no fear port, just I can play pain barrier or not. Otherwise, I'm taking this like, Yeah, me, me too. You think I like the chip first or what? I actually do not like the clip plus. I, I just don't like taking uh, 60 damage to my face next turn. Yeah, I do that. Uh... So, damage, if we don't die in the boss count, it's worth 3 HP in the next act. Of 11? Why, why is it 11? It's 6 here. And next turn is 11 here. And do you think we can always kill these two turns from now? Because we are not guaranteed to draw into Whirlwind. And then what? What do you do then? Yeah, no way. Yeah, we don't this. Oh, and you want to be strike here. Then the whirlwind doesn't even kill this. Okay, that is absolutely wrong. You say that it's like bashing to be strike here. That is 100% wrong. 
before I do that, I just like do a will this peace strike, you know. And peace strike here and then peace strike here. How much damage is that? It's like 30. If needed. The, the thing is that like there are definitely some draws we don't even kill like, with the fear pot. Look at our deck, man. Like, why, why do you see damage in here? Yeah, no chance, right? Like, screw that. We just have three chips. Like, who, who really cares? Come on, man. How bad, how bad is three chips, really? Yeah, like, look at this hand. You want to fear pot? Or what? And now we have exact kill here, like, uh, why? Because we play two clips next turn, uh, last turn. Oh yeah, we, we start with Metal Trans first. Like, come on. And you, you see, yeah, uh, Whirlwind is not free. Like, you, you see, Whirlwind, you play 4 energy, you take that 32 to your face right now. You cannot block. But here we can block because, why? Because we, yeah, we have uh, this thing low enough already. You want to Whirlwind 4 energy, take 32 to your face or what? Our HP is not infinite, you know, we don't have Reaper. But then it's pretty trash. Uh, don't need to play any power yet. Next turn we do have maybe armor money to disarm and then we can play this side a little bit slower. Let's do this first. I think I can even struck first because then body slam also kills if I don't want to draw a card. Because I do not want to draw into the second disarm right now. I do not want to draw into the software right now. I cannot play. That's also fine. I guess I can play the shockwave, so that's good then. Ah, uh, this is still a fine hand next turn. Take uh, no damage this turn. <laughs> and yeah, you want to draw the world with that's the bottom cut. Of course, not high side, but that is our bottom cut. <laughs> Just saying. So, uh, battle trends, and then armor when disarm, play the disarm, maybe draw into some zero cost. If we miss barricade or whatever, this cycle doesn't matter as much. This thing has minus four strength and it's still weakened for four turns. Go next turn, take seven more. Okay, this deco is uh, not cooperating, yeah, I can tell you that. This deco really, really doesn't want to cooperate, at least not yet. Um, Fear No Pain, actually, not very strong, right? I think if we play another power, which we will, we can play two more powers here, but playing one is probably better to build up to more block with Barricade than just play Demon Form. It is positive. Of course, the emotional cost free, but that's fine. Two powers, interesting. I mean, we can play double demon form, but Witness also runs out right now, so probably not. Drop quick, give us one free. Exhum still in here, right? Okay, so I can exhum this arm or exhum the shockwave. I don't draw into it yet, and uh, Witness runs out, so it's hitting me for like 32 in the multi-hit. If I pick this demon form, that is. We don't need two demon forms. We don't need two demon forms. I don't play the Tear No Pain, right? It's a decent amount of block. It, it, it's actually a pretty, pretty good amount of block. Also, get out of the deck. And makes the, the second queen play like, a lot stronger. <laughs> oh, you want the second queen this turn? Could have been possible as well, but um, I was thinking I don't actually want to to 
they can win away this um, offering. Winning the other one? No, no, we are actually playing the even one plus here. Like we are, we are not playing even for minus. I'm not thinking whether I want to play this or not. Maybe it's maybe I do. These are not the best, but uh, we can play double clip. Or I can do... yeah. I think that makes sense. Okay, now I can play Offering. I don't think we get away with not playing Offering. So I do play Offering. Uh, let's uh, maybe hoping to draw like Bash or something. Land this drop key later, but it is, I guess, not that bad. That's not that bad. No, no, I don't want to do a weird body set. You, you see like, how <laughs> how we are building up block? Yeah, not very fast. And we also don't need more than, than one body slap. Okay, it should be it should be fine from here. We lost at 45 HP, but that is still acceptable. Considering this is probably one of the more difficult fights. Should have played Android. Probably does not matter, but should have played Android. Keep this around or not, or I can just second win everything. Everything's fine. We have like 20 strength rate. 21. <laughs> this costs 3 though, unfortunate. I want to set it up if possible. Not very easy though, because our block is uh, also running out. And we kill it with like one more attack. But we can store for one more turn. One more turn. One strike is lethal, yeah, so we can just do this. Defend, second win strike. I know, you see like, how many times did the clip actually get in our way? Because uh, I don't I don't really see that many times. The making the most difficult part of that fight is actually just the first few turns. Yes, Unplug wants to be played, Barricade also wants to be played. That's pretty annoying. If I had to choose, I'd probably choose the, the Barricade though. The other one is this Arm Minus, which is slightly unfortunate. But we have HP to spare. Maybe something like this. Everything costs 3. Spot witness is good though. Spot witness is, is very good at it. Uh, bass minus. Hmm. If the bass, we are not even playing it here. But I, I have a feeling I should not play it. Yeah, I think don't play it, right? So like, why did I keep the bass? Yeah, zero reason. Uh, yeah, I can do battle trends, or we can wait to artifact away on the, the, the drawdown or like whatever. 
and just play left almost right instead. I think I want to keep this artifact to add the nullify draw down so just plus two draw after. Or uh, blocking vulnerable is also like sectionally good. Fine. I guess you don't have your no pain in play. What can you do, guys? Okay, now we block vulnerable. Wait, what? Um, uh, yeah, interesting. At least we are not vulnerable next turn. I cannot play four cards here, right? Yeah, actually, cannot play four cards. So, uh, Metallica is fast or what? And play three cards next turn. Because I, there, there are some cards I want to play for sure. I want to disarm. Maybe I want to armor and disarm. I want to maybe. I probably don't want to impervious. I don't want to shockwave. Maybe I want to do a wheel demon form. And give us zero cost here, but uh, yeah, let's not do that. Because we need to commit three cards first before that can happen, and then uh, if it fails, we uh, yeah we play one card next turn, and that's not exactly very nice. I just play this metallic side, right? Then I hope for the best. Wait, what can I? Okay, I can't play three cards this turn at least, but I cannot play this arm. Okay, okay. This thing, this thing is, this thing is trying to do something. Yeah, I don't know what it is trying to do, but it's try, it's up to no good. No, seriously, it is, uh, it is actually uh, plotting something pretty nasty here. But yeah, I struck first. The bad thing about playing cast in this situation is that I might actually also miss the demon form first cycle. I mean, if I want to, to always play the card from the Immortal, I play Blood Letting here. If I play Anguay, there's a 1 out of 4 chance that I draw into Demon... 1 out of 16 that I draw into Demon for me, it costs 3. Then I cannot play it. If I have Blood Letting, I can always play whatever comes. But uh, then I lose out on 6 block. And minus 3 HP is just minus 9. Probably not. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, whatever, guys. I, I, not playing demon form first cycle was not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, like, you, you see, I even saw this thing coming, you know, but uh, I did not play into the one time six, one out of 16 because it cost me 9 HP. So the expected value of this play is minus 144. If I play the Blood Lightning, I'm... Have, I'm valuing this demon form as 144 HP, and that cannot be correct. But, uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> okay, so we are frail right now, yeah? So, Imbervis lose 10 block. <laughs> or I can just play the, the defense instead. With no demon form in play, first next cycle, and no disarm as well. We have not played a single disarm yet. Uh, we might actually need to force a split on this thing at some point with a, a big uh, body slam or whatever. And we also don't. We, we also. We have HP to spare, basically. So taking a little bit of damage right now to guarantee we win the fight later is so fine. So I play defense. And we, we, we are not even taking damage this turn. Uh, yeah, okay. At least we can play the card we want to play. If nothing else, at least we can play some cards. Uh, 21 for one tick. And 18 for another tick. I do that. Before this witness on the shockwave runs out, I want this thing to be below 240. So I do, I do trade a little bit here. Okay, now we are actually taking damage when it's still weakened. So uh, no dual wheel on these things, yeah, but we play we play them.
Uh, three cast next turn, draw one right now. Right, these would be bad, but four cast next turn is no guarantee. Especially when we draw minus one. Okay, I can drop right now actually with the bloodletting, and that also deals um, 40 damage. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Considering there might be some lines that evolve some some exhum next turn, maybe armor before the disarm, maybe offering. Yeah, armor into disarm right here. Let's play this first. Uh, but truck here. Yeah? If we always play truck, we play truck first, so that we upgrade one more card. Fine. Can exhum the disarm right away. We can exhum shockwave for the second half. We can also exhum the zero cost impervious, but on the ground we are frail. Next time we are not frail though. We can just proc this turn with like um fast body slam something. Yeah, exhum the disarm, put this thing down below 240, stack up some lock next turn for free, pop the clock, and then uh, everything's fine. Sounds very good. Do I need to armor with the bash here? Uh, actually, no. Can I armor with the bash and still deal enough damage? This is 30. Killing 34. I need to deal 50. Okay, that's enough. So I can armor with. Next turn, tool cards, no problem. We can play previous when we are not frail. Missing the disarm for second half is like slightly sad, but whatever, we fight over. And yeah, here we have the, the bash plus. Uh, ideally, kill with two more cards. Apparently not possible. We can push it uh, up again. For this time just kills, but um, I want to play like 6 more cards. Then this turn will still easily drop. Unfortunately, there's no wood line here. I mean, I can leave 2 cards next turn, we're still fine. And then kill in 4 cards. It has like, no strength, uh, yeah, like, it cannot hurt us. Now we kill with Wuka. And any two attack will do. But yeah, without the uh, 6 strength or sword with it, it would be pretty bad. But the discovery bail us out. But some, something like this actually scares me, you know, because like if the some somewhat of the same fight happens in the hard fight, we are we are probably toast. But yeah, this upgrade on the the funeral pain, right? Unless you say rest for twelve, but um, funeral pain upgrade is worth almost twelve HP already, and if the blood potion overheals, then it also is way more. And uh, I don't know, maybe only softer, maybe... Actually, it's only 10. We, we, we only rest for 10. Oh yeah, no way, no way. Oh yeah, yeah we, we have Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. <laughs> I have not even considered resting in that 3 years, so I just forget that we have this, you know. Okay, whatever, we, we upgrade the field open. This upgrade uh, saved 15, it saved 0, because um, first cycle is irrelevant. After first cycle, how often do we actually strip artifact? Not very often, and yeah, it can also be upgraded with armaments. But this thing is play on site. It's just this. And of course, we also even have dual wheel guys. Like, come on. Where the hell is my entrance? 
No, really, where is it? Do I still take it or not? Because um, if I take this thing, I actually cannot take anything else. That seems... I think I can take Evo. Maybe you can take Burning Pack, but uh, that's not very good. The new potion basically is, uh, yeah, Impervious Plus. 40 block with uh, Barricade. So it also gives us 60 damage if the heart is vulnerable. On the other hand, of course, the relics are pretty decent. Puzzle is strong. As puzzle, I don't know. Like, is puzzle really stronger than, let's say, two potions? Because I can replay two. I, I can replace two. I guess I can buy two potions and the Evolve or the Burning Pack. Because Duplication Potion definitely is way stronger than, than Fear Pot. It's not even close. Like Impervious is 40 block, uh, 60 damage. Freaking Demon Form. Uh, freaking Feel No Pain Plus. Or even uh, even nastier, the Dual Wheel Plus. We duplicate the Dual Wheel Plus, we play like uh, 5 Feel No Pain Plus, and then we block uh, to the heavens. Dreamland. But I don't know, maybe it can happen. Remove this potion is too expensive. So if we take the remove, we can only buy one of these. And it's probably energy over the strength. Yeah, but artifact trip, yeah, yeah, but what what do we strip for really is the thing. We strip for this arm second cycle or what? Which is pretty good, you know, like I like don't It's true, it's not it's pretty good. But we can also maybe even exhume the, the chop wave. And if we have permanent vulnerable permanent width, then uh, it's only for this arm. And you mean you can com you can compare it for yourself, yeah? Like the um, if you still fear about the strip, it blocks it strips one layer only, not two. And the disarm land is let's say okay, it's forty five. So even then, the fear boss is like what twenty two block. Duplication is way strong. Of course, it costs us the puzzle. But the, the duplication is not coming alone. I'm just buying potions here. Wait, I'm just buying potions. I'm really wondering about this evil though, like whether that is good or not. Because the with with the second win is not that bad. And yeah, we have one more fight to five powers through. I know, uh, copium, but mm, I don't know. Maybe Act Four at least have the powers through. I think Evo also um, gives a much higher chance of us actually drawing second win with the statuses. Where am I from? I'm from Vietnam. We play two potions though, because um, if I also toss away the, the weak potion is a little bit weird. I think I want to keep the elixir with the um, Fear No Pain Plus and potentially being dual wielded. If it's not dual wielded, I can even duplicate it you know, and suddenly this elixir is blocking 60. Wow, getting rid of uh, a lot of garbage. Drinking the Black Potion also doesn't feel right at all because I just lose 15 HP for no reason. So I know that Fear Pot is replaceable. Is Energy Pot stronger than Wick Pot? The Wick will be relevant unless we exhume the, the, uh, unless we exhume the Shockwave. Especially the even first cycle. So probably not. I guess if I buy Evolve, I also cannot buy the potion anyway, so... Yeah, maybe just do pot Evolve then. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's actually just do pot Evolve. And we toss this thing away. Those are some nasty costs. They're very good cut, but pretty nasty cost, so it immediately makes me regret not taking the energy potion over. What the hell are we even keeping here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just take twice again, like it's just true. 
barricade, uh, barricade, then what? I have empty turn one or what? Yeah, there cost armor, and then we can do barricade into impervious. But if we just win 64, no, no, it's not even a cap. Like, if I draw into nothing useful, I just will win for 64 damage. Like, why would I not do that? But uh, this is never a big play. Probably all of this. Keeping the barricade here, just hoping to draw into either the bloodletting or the offering. Or the zero cost armament. We cut for only 64 AoE. 64 AoE doesn't end the fight. And we don't like to have some, some insane sustain, so we will take a heavy hit. That's really annoying, but uh... If I don't draw into anything that allows me to play this barricade into the Imperius, then I want to still draw into either Funeral Pain or the Evoke or... Um, whatever. Demon form, maybe shockwave. This is a lot of damage, but playing playing it also doesn't doesn't actually advance the, the fight. And yeah, duplication on it doesn't work. If, if only duplication on the Akaveko actually works, they wouldn't do it. We can, however, duplicate uh, play the impervious and then duplicate the body slam. Is that impervious then? Yeah, I'm really thinking about that. And it's probably... I don't, I don't know. I don't I don't really know because... Um, this cutting impervious is not like playing impervious because then if we play impervious at least we have Exu for next turn. If we discard impervious right now we are accepting 64 next turn with no retaliation. Even if we draw to the good things we are still facing 60... It's not even 64, it's 65. Headbutt, but headbutt only if it's this turn, right? So we also need to draw into zero cost or one cost headbutt. Comparing that to a bloodletting that costs uh, zero to two, an offering that costs zero to one, or an armament that costs zero, the number of out in keeping this impervious in hand is still more. I just thought it would win and keep the other two. Yeah, good news. I did not discard the impervious. <laughs> yeah, good news, guys. So, um, now what? Do I play Battle Trends or do I play Metallic Size? Actually, I cannot play Metallic Size. It's freaking cost 3. So, 3 3 2 is like 8 energy. I don't have enough. So, I do play the, the Battle Trends. We can still draw it with the cost armaments, yeah? So, if I play Battle Trends, I play it first. Because this can be decosted. miss anything super important in this fight like ah uh, yes if i don't play the because body slam is also gone we will have already drawn past body slam and the duo wheel so if i miss demon form in here we are in serious problem wondering why i find already the heart yeah yeah so i don't even know because we cannot play anything else if i play this um Metal trend, so it's just fishing for some zero cost or uh, an armament that costs zero or one. On the other hand, I can also just play three, these three cards. This is not full block for turn two, by the way. Yeah? We are blocking 58, so we are only retaining 46 block for next turn. That is not enough. But yeah, drawing into Exhum right now is also bad. Drawing to Offering right now is probably also not a bad. Drawing to Exhum is bad. Drawing to Demon Form is bad. Drawing to Second Impervious is bad. So, probably not. Probably just this. Could actually draw into Armament. Uh, we can play these three. Still taking something like 20... 15 damage here, and next turn we might get wrecked, but uh... Evo's one turn dead. 
discover first right i don't really care about replaying discovery but upgrading the card form the discovery might matter and i i don't know guys this is just entrenched yeah? this is just entrenched every single time right? i have not discovered into entrenched yet so now is the time to shine okay not quite entrenched but uh it's fine too Okay, full block this turn. Next turn we might get wrecked, but uh, so far we have not lost any HP and we can exhume the Impervious now. And also, like, that's quite a lot of damage. Yeah, exhume the, the Impervious. We can even upgrade the Exhume for it to cost zero. Play this first. Oh, really? Okay, so now I have to choose. If I exhume impervious, I cannot play the, the limit form. <laughs> oh really no? The, the, that's very kind of you. To do this. <laughs> how important is the... Oh, how much damage am I taking this turn anyway? Yeah, there's nothing else in here to, to do it, yeah. Igmoto, play what? What two cards though? Do we always start with Abba this arm or what do you want to do? Because I do not play, want to play the zero cost strike yet. And I don't even know where I'm playing this arm on, but it's probably still on the spear. I'll bring still in the deck, yes. And I don't know, yeah, maybe we also draw it to this if we risk costing zero, and then we don't need to exhume yet. <laughs> yeah, probably can do Abomin, disarm the spear, and then see what card we draw. Do something? No, no, we are not using potion. Especially when we are we have not lost any HP yet, and this thing is still here. doesn't do anything okay so now we get to we have to choose if we are playing demon form we are taking 19 this turn if we are not playing demon form we block for we block for another 40 so we block for 19 so difference is 38 block actually that doesn't make sense difference is always 40 what am i talking about Uh, be kind, thank you very much for the thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, if we lose 19 this turn... The, the thing about not playing demon forms, I don't even know. Like, how, how the hell are we killing the spear like two turns from now? Getting this 40 block on that one. Because like two turns from now we are being hit for already 48 from this and then uh, even more from this. And even forms not in play. Headbutt is also this. There's no damage left in here and this block for like one turn and then it stops. But uh, I probably still play the Exhum now. I would, I would probably still play the Exhum immediately. So that I don't have to... Demon form, no, no. If we do anything uh, in this fight, it would have been on turn one. The fight is not bad enough for us to, to panic potion yet. If I lose 19, I go to 66. 72 with the, the blood potion, I'm still full HP. Next turn, I'm being attacked for this thing is um, 8 times 2, 16. And maybe this thing hits us for a little bit, but we can also draw into Impervious. Here the Pain Plus is in here, Shockwave is in here. Honorable can come down on this. I can even exhume the Disarm, you know. I can even exhume this arm to strip um, two layers here. So the weakness from the Shockwave can actually land, and the second Disarm can also land. That way I don't miss Demon Form. I deal more damage this turn. And I strip all, all layers of artifact on the Spear. Yeah, not, not playing this demon form, this turn just nonsense. Mm -hmm. 
Still want to kill this thing first though. So we do one hit and then we turn around. I think it's 20, not 90. I do pay another 6 though. Awesome decking shockwave, that's not cool. But we do draw extra with the evolve next time. Can draw into shockwave right now, so I would like to play a card that costs 1. But I also want to play this uh... How bad is dropping... How, how bad is uh, missing shockwave? Wind demon from in play already is actually not that bad. And uh, if we really need to, we can quick pot next turn, but probably not too necessary. And this app this turn also blocks a lot more. And it's only if it's shockwave and it costs 3, you know, so it's, again, it's like 1 out of 8. I mean, I, I know, I know we just got 1 out of 16 last fight, but 1 out of 8 right here... That's sure, I can take it. It's not even, it's not even shockwave, it's actually an absolute bottom card. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, defense strike is more better than iron wave, also advance more in bottle. Cleave doesn't really matter, so we do strike defense. Still full block in this hit. Next turn this guy hit big, but we have, um... 8 strength, 9 strength already, so maybe we can kill this. And we still have a uh, pretty decent block. We draw all burn this turn though, what the? I actually drew all 4 burn this turn. So Armament doesn't really make sense, it only upgrades this. Uh, if anything, I just play Vitalis size, it blocks more than, than this, and then gets out of the deck. And the 8, uh, 16, so turning this way is still better. Huh? Like, yeah, <laughs> imagine not like demon form though, no, just imagine. <laughs> this is 40, so we will take more one more hit. Hopefully that's the end of it, but can also not be. Like another nine. That is still acceptable. It's not enough for me to use this yet. I can't use the elixir as well to block, but okay. This potion is free. I do not want to draw a card this turn. Yeah, I trust so I do a wheel strike. You think that dual wheel strike never happens? Okay, oh, guess what, guys? Okay, we can maybe draw to perfect the strike, so we don't need to, to do that. But we'll see. It costs three, though, so okay, we dual wheel the, the pombo strike instead. We are attacking uh, one more hit here unless I spend all the damage, which I will. I don't want to take this hit. This is a barrier plus, uh, but next on this guy doesn't attack. Oh, I can I can barrier plus. We still have metallic size, so this turn no damage. Wait, I have four energy. <laughs> okay, never mind because. And yeah, now the fight is over. Now now the fight is absolutely over. I want to set up in Moto. This does not kill him, yeah? So it's like fine to be played. Oh. Okay, forget what you just saw. <laughs> okay, I actually completely forgot that, that uh, 37 is not safe. <laughs> but uh, in my mind, it's like, oh, a strike, you know, he has 30 block, he's fine, but uh, he's not fine. 
<laughs> yeah, indeed, the flame baron did not kill him. It's true. Uh, 37. What about that? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. And we take this. Uh, we can get 5-7 on turn 1. But I probably still want to block Vulnerable. No, Fear No Pain, there are a lot of things we can do. We can do Demon Form, we can do Fear No Pain, we can do Impervious, we can even do Dual Wheel. That is very good. Yeah, yeah, we can also do uh, Discovery or do the Entrench Form Discovery. Okay, so this arm definitely needs to be kept. I don't care about the Whirlwind at all. These are irrelevant. Armament is probably also irrelevant. Yeah, it's only on Exhum, right? So irrelevant. We just thought everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just not Armament. This is very good. Okay, I'm not even playing it. This metallicized probably can be kept around. Yeah, yeah I don't mind keeping this metallicized. So uh, we can probably do this. Exam first. Oh no no barricade first. This will never be zero. We will always play it. Yeah, but this thing's not on nine. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why this thing's not on nine, guys. No, really, why is it not on nine? Can somebody tell me? Okay, whatever. It's on nine next turn. Is it? It's on nine next turn. Is it all the setup, guys? For turn two. But that does mean I float energy this turn. And I do not take five strength, yeah. With Nim from already, I just want to block Vulnerable. And we'll play this. Yeah, it's on 9 for next turn. We're just uh, setting up. Third turn 15, we're on to second hit arm, does not matter. Here's a few no pain. Uh, then we start the turn with defend, no? To see if we draw into like dual wheel or not. But afterwards, there's a void in the deck, so the battle train is not safe to play. This is still safe to play, this is not safe. This is still safe to play, but uh, unless you say that we are going to play evil, which I actually do. <laughs> All five tenses in here and second win is in here, so I do want to play evil. Okay, so the question right now is like, do I do, do the seal no pain or not? And I think the answer is yes. I think I think Fear No Pain is a, a super strong loop in this spot, considering that we can have a huge second win turn, our Elixir is going to or 10 cards. And we have double impervious still. Discover first? No, no, absolutely not. Like, Discover first cost me uh, 8 block. Only for some potential small high rates. And I don't know, what is a high roll from here? It's just dual wheel, right? Okay, interesting. And yeah, we actually play that. And we play this. This this arm is uh, good to live, to live around. There's no need to play it in this turn, even if it blocks for 11. This should be fine. This should be fine. There's a demon form. There's no dual wheel. They're waiting to dual wheel. This is also complete nonsense, yeah? I'm really thinking about uh, like playing a big elixir this turn, but that's probably stupid. We, we save this thing for later. Playing like this went frail a little bit cringe. Losing HP is also a little bit cringe, considering we are not failed next turn. But this this hand is like really weird, you know. But this blood letting the way we can play all these three. Okay, I know this will be this will be played. And yeah, honestly I am just doing weak pot into like armament this turn, right? Instead of the, the impervious. And let's just say that we never go below zero again, which actually, which actually can be. This is easily full blocking this turn, and then afterwards we have eleven feel no pain with the second win. 
We think that head block in here doesn't actually matter. And it immediately gains us both HP and the, the body slam. The, the body slam damage. And uh, of course, uh, more importantly, we don't really afford energy this turn. Yeah, it cannot be that bad. Yeah. Oh, so, Shockwave? But let's see. Uh, I can hit but something to do with Will, but there's also nothing in here. Energy wise, go to two, go to four. If I draw to voice, still go down to three, so I can play second win. I don't honestly don't even mind using second win on this impervious. Oh, I can just play second win right now for three. And that's honestly completely fine too. Okay, let's just do that. Then there's nothing I need to do a wheel from this board. And head back uh, on second win. Mm, not that strong. I mean, it's strong, but I, I want to play impervious next turn and not the second win. Second win can be played later. So I probably don't even head back anything. I just do the cliff here, 21. Right, this is a very easy turn. To verify. At some point I do need to use this, but uh, not yet. Electra yeah, time? No, no. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't get rid of bad attacks. I want to... If Electra is going to get rid of bad attacks so that I can play Body Slam over and over and over. Uh, can uh, disarm the strip artifact and then do a wheel and then exhume. We have another disarm coming. And then exhume the, the shockwave, for example. That's pretty good. It also blocks for her an insane amount and guarantees this thing is uh, weakened forever. Yeah, now it should be fine. We can uh, disarm this. No point even using armaments, right? So let's not. This is positive. Uh, HP, our HP doesn't matter. We only care about dealing damage now. This can be used. Next turn, Elixir time? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. Not quite yet, but uh, close. Uh, yeah, this turn. This turn, this turn definitely looks like a freaking Elixir to me. We can head back to the flame barrier and then uh, do something similar. Can't even play Clipper because it's cost zero. Yeah, now it's Elixir attack. But this cost three, so I don't play it. I mean, the fight is like super over from this spot. Like, it's, it's not even close. Uh, winning this one is pretty good, I can tell you that, because, uh... Yeah, when, whenever you win a run, the struggle is to act through, uh, always, uh, you always feel great. Because you, you do feel like you actually earned the run. But yeah, uh, 13-1. Man, runs are, runs are actually so long though, because the... Yeah, the more difficult runs actually surfaces, you know, after the, the like, six or seven uh, runs are like, just chilling at the start, we just click two cards. <laughs> and we just win. But yeah, no, 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 no longer quick. If the run's difficult, I give it time. Yeah, that was good.
and pretty crazy right because the you also remember the birth chosen fight you just imagine in the birth chosen fight we did not play impervious when i did the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just dead right there and the difference was actually one card the difference was actually exactly one card i, I do not play the imperfect i'm just like immediately dead this fight <laughs> i can't look at the defect i mean yeah the, the thing there eh, is that if um, life post 50 on defect right now ends up higher than 82 percent that is actually true that iron trap would have a lowest uh, win rate in the highest 50. Because right now, Watcher is 94 at the top. Silent and Second at 86. And third is Iron Card on 82. And uh, the fourth one is Defect on like 70 or 72. I cannot remember. But yeah, if, if Coach actually gets uh, above 82 on um, Defect on this 50, then it's going to be higher than Iron Card. And Iron Card is like dead last. Yeah, terrible character. <laughs> and yeah, like we, we, we just do not get stronger in early Act 2. We skip cards after cards after cards. So we pick a freaking click miners with Neko. Insanely good draws. And we do not take damage here, but we drop no potions. We do not pick any cards. We don't get stronger. And then, yeah, we enter a real fight. Yeah, and we enter a real fight, and you, you see immediately what happens in a real fight. <laughs> that is even with the strength potion used. And yeah, like, uh, second fight, like, again, use a, a potion, but regen potion also doesn't, doesn't really help. And this fight, we actually almost die. We, we are, we are one card away from dying. And here again, 25 HP, but, uh, no potion to bail out, like, only the weak potion and the upgrade potion, I think. And we have to choose between elite and hallway fights, and the hallway fight also, again, like, almost freaking kill us. And of course, the second snack was free. And Collector, we end up getting Body Slam, Dual Wheel, and Dual Wheel solve this fight. <laughs> and yeah, pretty, pretty unusual, right? You don't really see an act 2 that you go to zero event that, that often. Hello, Top Library? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, that will very good. Uh, I'm assuming that P-Box, uh, there's something pretty nasty here. This is from... yeah, very early, first floor. It has about two second win. Three base energy, no energy in the library. Probably not Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace could be stronger later, but not right now. And with this V-Box on the scene, you just need to survive in the short term. So it's either... Um, I see Battle Trends. I see Field No Pain. And maybe even Sentinel because of the second win. But that's like really good because... Okay. So the nasty thing about Sentinel is that if you do second win Sentinel as a combo to get energy, then you cannot play your barricade because you yeah, you second win either way. So it's probably not that. Second power two is also actually very strong, especially with the body slam already. Yeah, this is probably between one or three cards for me. It's it's not entrenched. Yeah? I am not looking at this entrenched at all. It's just, it's just between um, Battle Trends, Fuel No Pain, and the uh, Power Through. Limited Energy Output? The Evil... <laughs> but Fiend Fire. Okay, the, the Fiend Fire probably tells me it's actually the, the Battle Trends. Without the Fiend Fire, then it's like probably a lot closer. But with, with the Fiend Fire right here, it's probably just the Battle Trends. Because the, the Battle Trends also works way better with the Seeing Red as well. And then Run Plan, probably not. If this runs a little bit easier than sure, but uh, any run that actually cost me... cost me any amount of brain power than the second run is just going to be weird. So probably not. 
You know, I mean, I heard Kuro is uh, playing around, so we can go over there. I'm assuming Kuro is like, not even close to, to finishing yet. Oh, it's been actually already, so maybe a pretty chill run. Risk play? Mm, okay, like buying, buying KMX in that one probably suggests good things. <laughs> hey, that's it, who was in the chat? Okay, okay. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And um, see you later.